Good morning. Here we are. It is Saturday at last. I tell you what, what an amazing Saturday it is going to be here at the Sewing Quarter today. My name's Derek Marks and I'm with you all the way through until midday while the rest of the team enjoy everything at the Great British Sewing Bee Live down at the Excel Centre in London. Maybe you're off there over the weekend as well. I hope you have a fabulous time and I hope we helped you get the tickets as well. Well, I tell you what... Oh, today is the day. There is so much going on. So let's serve up the menu and uh, tell you the order it is all coming in today. Today is Welcome to Wonderland because in our first hour, it's all about Alice in Wonderland. Anna Sanders is here from Alice Caroline with amazing Liberty fabric coming up in just a couple of moments. And we've got a lot of projects to fit into 60 minutes, so it's going to be a busy, busy morning. At nine o'clock, Supremo toy maker Joe Carter is here, but not for toys at 9 a.m. No, that's a bit later. We have got the quilt, which quite simply is the one that stops hearts. Let me tell you, it's incredible. It is the Stripes Galore quilt from Kay Facet with an offer, and that offer should be in the biggest capital letters you've ever seen. We haven't even finalised the offer. We're waiting for the nod from HQ to do uh, an incredible reduction on that for just today. So make sure you stay right where you are. I'll get you an image of that quilt very, very soon as well. Anna's back from Alice Caroline at 10 o'clock this morning, and we have lots and lots to do. As I say, there are so many projects in terms of the Liberty Fabrics today, you are going to love it. Some amazing price points as well. I was pretty blown away. This is my first time seeing Liberty Fabrics here at the Sewing Quarter, and I've been blown away by not only the beauty of the fabrics, but the price tags that we have negotiated. So that's at 10 o'clock. And at 11 o'clock, yes, finally, it is the big reveal of Joe Carter's brand new project which is this little fella here, or this little lady here, that's up to you. You can decide a little bit later on. And listen, have a little think right the way through the morning as to what you would like Joe Carter's next project to be. Because we want your ideas this morning. Um, what would you like? We've got the elephant and we've had many other uh, toys from Joe as well. But what do you have in mind for Joe to make in the future. We would love to hear from you. Uh, there are many ways of getting in touch. I guess we'll go to the website first and see what's going on there, shall we? Here at sewingquarter.com. It's the best way to kind of sew along live with us, really, because uh, as soon as you see something you like, you can just pop it into your basket with one click, and there it is. So let's go to the web right now. There we are. Ah. Oh, I don't want to give him or her a name yet. I want you to decide that through the morning um, and we'll, uh, we'll make a decision later and also make a decision on Joe's next project as well because you will be voting for that later. Well, I say voting, you'll be coming up with your ideas and we're going to pick the most popular for Joe to commission. Does she know that yet? Oh, well, we'll find out later. We'll find out later. Anyway, you can get in touch. You can click on watch, of course, and watch today's show. You'll see the player on one side. Yeah, you scrub up all right this morning, Derek. Very good. And on the right-hand side, you've got the oval there where you can send a message straight in through to the studio very, very simply and easily. You can also get in touch via the email, of course, as you know, because there are lots and lots of different things you can e email in about today. In fact, in the first hour, I would love to hear from you on email. If you've ever made anything from Liberty Fabrics, um, I would love to hear from you in this hour. It's studio at sewingquarter.com. And don't forget, of course, coming up at nine o'clock this morning, so just 60 minutes away, we have got the Stripes Galore K-Facet quilt. Just to remind you of what that looks like, by the way. Obviously, it doesn't come with a printed image of, uh, of Tash and Kaif himself, but there it is in its full glory. It's absolutely amazing. We have got an offer just for today for the bundle, and I honestly, if the rumours are anywhere near true about the size of the reduction um, versus previous price tags, we've got a brand new bundle for that cave quilt, um, dramatically reduced, and there could be little extras in there. As I have to say, even though it's a Saturday morning and the management are Monday to Friday, nine till five, they're still making their final decisions on the price tag on that one. So that's coming up at nine o'clock this morning. Right, okay, let's get on, let's get on. Where shall I pop the elephant? I'll pop the elephant over here for now. Uh, and we will have a look at some Alice Caroline 
beautiful, beautiful Liberty fabrics. I mean, so fine, so beautiful with the details. Oh, they are exquisite. And we've got two fabulous charm packs to show you. Let me show you the first one. Um, this is just delicious. Um, it's wonderful. Now, we're calling this the multicolored um, charm pack. And I just love it. Love it. Um, 20 of the five by five inch squares. And just look at the palettes of colors that you have here and the amazing florals. I mean, the colors are just beautiful. It's almost like no words are required whatsoever. They are just delicious. And the fabric itself is absolutely delightfully rich and delicious. Look at me. Can't even hold them still. Good job I'm not a surgeon. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. I just, I just love it. I mean, from the very, very classic, every one of them is a masterpiece, isn't it? And there are 20 in this charm pack. They are already going into baskets. I'm not at all surprised. It is just delicious. This is your one and only access. It's really nice to have a sort of um, a look into the world of Liberty Fabric, which is just so fine, yet has such a wonderful texture to it. And the prints are just so vivid. And again, with the Liberty Fabrics, there's no need to wash the Liberty Fabrics because they will hold that beautiful, vibrant design all the way through. It's just a beacon, a beacon of um, classic style, isn't it? The Liberty Fabric. It's beautiful. It's incredible. I could spend all day just going through this one charm pack. It's amazing. Um, here's the details then for you. FGBY10, it's the Alice Caroline 13 centimeter, or to you and I, five inch square, multicolor Liberty Charm squares, pack of 20 there for you for 14 pounds and 95 pence. It's going to be very, very busy this morning, uh, right the way through the morning. So I would say, open up your web browser, get your basket opened up. Remember your postage for the whole day is just £2.95. And I would say, um, do check out multiple times. It will not keep, it might look as if it's keep adding the postage all day, but come midnight tonight, when everything is reconciled for you, it will just round it down to that one um, sum of £2.95. Let's have a look at uh, the other larger charm pack that we have from Alice Caroline this morning in the Liberty Fabric. And this, again, oh my word, again, 20 squares. This is um, the pink selection that we have here. So very, very bright, very, very vibrant. Again, some nice soft pastel as well. Look at the colours. They're so vivid. They are so, so beautiful. And again, at £14.95, I'm sure you have many ideas in mind straight away. I have to say, though, just be warned, on previous experience, I know that when it comes to Liberty Fabrics, you get your charm packs home and they are lookers for a good long time. They are ones that you just sit, lay out in front of you, look and adore for a long, long time. So you may well want to multi-order on these while we actually have them available. Um, they are incredible. A, B, B, Y. Abbey 19, this one, 14 pounds and 95 pence. Now we have a smaller charm pack available as well. So just these three charm packs uh, available um, today. And honestly, the charm packs last time uh, Alice Caroline uh, featured here at the sewing quarter just sold out so so quickly this time we have the two and a half inch square so this time there are more 36 in one pack and again just phenomenal phenomenal fabric it's beautiful it's brilliant for your paper piecing for your uh, hexes of course um, and I think you'll find uh, 101 other ways to utilise this. And it comes in at less than £10. So what often happens is while we have them available, people do multi-order and get them stocked up now because we don't feature them as much as we would like to here at the Sewing Quarter. And stock does run out very, very quickly. And I know for the team at Alice Caroline who are putting these packs together just for you here at the Sewing Quarter, um, that takes some time to actually restock um, and to do this. So at £9.95, pence, it's a steal. And I really don't like using that word in relation to Liberty Fabrics, but really, this is such a great opportunity. This is almost like you walking in to the Festival of Quilts and saying, ha, ah, this is where everyone goes to. Everyone heads straight to Alice Caroline and the Liberty Fabrics. They are incredible. 
Now, the first project that we're going to be working on today um, is not that one, is the Anabag, which is over there, and I'll, I'll show it to you in, in just a wee while. Um, so I will give you the details for the actual kit itself, um, and so much included in the kit, which is, as always, incredible. Look, 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 look. First of all, you have your um, full instructions, which is uh, amazing. Oh, all of this wonderful, wonderful fabric as well that you have. Look at that. It's beautiful. Um, so we will bring you all of the details and I'll show you that. Actually, let me bring the bag over. One second. I got it here. I got it here. Look, 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 look. Sorry, I'm a fan of running away and going and grabbing it. Look, there you go. Um, and, of course, on one side, it's paper pieced together with the hexes, it's beautiful. Brand new today, so the bundle for it is on your screen right now. OWBY02, OWBY02 is the kit uh, for the Anna bag, and that's the one that uh, Anna will be showing us in just a moment, and it is named after Anna as well. And we'll find out the story behind that in just a couple of seconds as well. Um, that's not the only project that we're embarking on in this hour either. We've got a, an awful lot to do, in fact, in this hour. What should we do next? Let's do the market tote bag. Now, this is wonderful. This is with the Iantha um, fabric from Liberty. <gasps> look at this. Look, 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 look. It oh, honestly incredible. Just to have this fabric in your world is amazing just to have this fabric in your world, either way up, either way round. It's just iconic, isn't it? Beautiful. So the kit for this, including the instruction and, of course, the, um, the, uh, the bag strap material. In fact, I've got the market tote here as well um, at £19. £19.95. Pence. How? Tell me how, because there is so much fabric with this. And here is the market tote itself beautifully finished and we'll go through some of the key points of finishing that off very very so uh, soon for you but you may have many many ideas um, besides the market tote for that fabric I think that's that's worth buying the kit just to have the fabric as a keeper um, I think absolutely so that is coming up a little bit later on and we'll see that uh, being demonstrated with Anna in a wee while and um, the other thing we're going to be doing today as well is raw edge applique like like thus here and we've got an amazing kit this, this is different fabric but just to show you the principle this is the kind of look that we will be able to create um, using raw edge applique and of course you've got to have the fabric to be able to do that and there's a wonderful bundle here um, coming up to be able to do this oh my word look 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 at this fabric that is just the most incredible. We're going to be making a, a cushion, actually, with this. So this would actually be the backing fabric. Um, and then we have a charm pack as well for the front of, the, uh, of your cushion. Look at those fabrics. They're just incredible, aren't they? Um, so that is coming up for you. The kit price is £27.00 and 50 pence. Um, we'll be doing that very, very soon. So we'll be seeing demos on all of those. So now you see... Everything that we have available uh, in this show from Alice, Caroline, uh, right the way through until, well, through the end of the morning. Now, there's a lot in baskets already, I should tell you. Um, so please make sure um, that you check out as quickly as you possibly can. Right, let's go and see Anna and make the Anna bag then, shall we? And here it is. Anna, it's lovely to meet you. you? How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, good, yeah. good, good, good. It's, I, I just adore, I mean, actually, this is my first time, I have to say, say um, seeing the Liberty fabrics, and they are... I can tell you're loving them. Dreamworthy, you aren't they? You've used the word delicious a lot, and I'm, yes. and I'm liking that. Well, it is. It, it's just so rich, isn't it? Is it is rich. And so, so vibrant. Yeah. And, and Alice Caroline, specialise almost entirely on Liberty Fabric. It, entirely they? on Liberty Fabric, yeah. yeah. We, we do do a few others, but yeah. but predominantly Liberty Fabric. Yeah. Which is amazing. I mean, that must be great for you to oh. work in this world of It's amazing in the Liberty. studio. We've got about 450 Liberty Fabric, so to be surrounded by that much beauty is quite oh, hard not to spend all my wages on fabric. Yeah, <laughs> I, can quite, I can quite imagine. And I can see how, you know, it, it visibly... It's that kind of fabric that you are drawn to straight away because yeah. it, it has a, a kind of timeless nature to it, doesn't it? it and does. really inspiring. I think we're very, yeah. very, very uplifting. We live in a, quite a dark world these days, and actually it's really yeah. quite nice 
um, that you've got these fabrics that are bright and inspiring yeah. and you'll enjoy spending yeah. time with. And they're a pleasure even to touch and to hold, aren't they? They are, yeah. It's just worth noting that the back of the bag yes. is actually slightly different to that demo one. OK. So the front, we've got the rainbow hexagons. Yes. But then the, the back is this fabric here. Yep. Which are, is one of my favourite Liberty fabrics, this. It's Beautiful. called Betsy and I, and I oh, absolutely love it. That's fun. It's, isn't it wonderful, the, the, the character that that kind of conjures up as well? When you name a fabric like this, Betsy... Oh, what a, what a job, you, naming fabrics. Yeah, but you can also, you can also visualise someone in your life who is a Betsy as well, can't you? Well, that's why Alice names all her patterns after people that she knows. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And, right, now, so tell me how the Anna bag became the Anna bag, because that is you, of course, isn't it? It, it, it is named after me. Um, well, when I, uh, quite a while ago, when I first um, started working for Alice Caroline, I made my daughter uh, a hexy hand-sewn quilt. Oh, OK. So, um, and it's... It's rather lovely. It's very, very beautiful. And um, I, I love doing that hand paper piecing mm -hmm. um, in front of the TV or, you know, or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, um, listening to music or listening to the radio. And it's a, it's a fab hobby. And so I, I made a, a hexi quilt and Alice was so sort of, wow, that's amazing that she decided to make this in the, hexi, in the hexies. Wow. As so, a yeah. tribute to your fine work. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. That's quite so, an honour, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely actually, and that's part of the part of the story of Alice. It's, mm -hmm. it's very personal. It's a it's a small company, um, and there's lots of really really lovely people work there. So yeah, it's it's great. Fabulous, right? Let's get started then, shall we? We're going to do some Indeed. paper piecing first, aren't we? We are, and you've done a bit of paper piecing, I think, in the past. Yes, so I won't, I I won't labour on it. No, yeah, absolutely. But what I thought I would show you is how you can cut how you can cut in bulk for the English paper oh, piecing. Oh, okay, so that's so useful. you can either get your piece of fabric and do rough cutting. You get yes. your you get your template, mm -hmm. so you get your template in with the in with the kit. Okay. Um, and you can just either rough cut it like this, and then fold it over and pin, and then. It's pack. not an exacting science, this either, is it? It's not. It's not a specific seam allowance like. like no, you it's would have not. On. But you need to leave enough seam allowance enough so that it won't. Out. So that it yeah. So that it won't come apart actually and yeah. create holes in your in your bag. And so you can either do that, and then you can either glue it or tack it. Uh, I quite like tacking, but you know lots of people use glue. Mm -hmm. um, or you can use this method. So you get your you get your template. You've got all your bits of fabric all lined up. You might you might want to uh, you might want to look away now as as we do bulk <laughs> cutting of Liberty fabric. Oh yeah, this we love gonna, a bit this of this is, in the studio. This is going to be a painful moment though for a lot of people, isn't it? It's saying, it is. Oh, I'm cutting into my yeah. charm pack. I can't yeah. believe I'm doing it. And actually, you probably shouldn't do all of them at once. You should probably do about four or five. Yeah. Get four or five in there. Yeah. Make sure they're lined and up. And do you need to be quite experienced with a rotary cutting, the cutter to be able well, to do this? Well, rotary cutting's really easy, but you obviously need to keep the guard on. Yes. And you need to be a bit careful, because they're really, really sharp. OK. So, um, yeah, you don't need to be experienced, but you obviously need to own one. OK. <laughs> yes. And uh, so you would just cut through the fabric. So you've got about four or five there, haven't I you? I have, yeah. You have to press hard. Yeah. Otherwise, it won't go through all of them. Mm -hmm. And you've got enough in each piece of fabric to make two hexes. Ah, OK. And then just a sort of a little... Sorry, just a rough cut around before you do your... before you either tack or you glue. So I'm pressing quite hard there. Would you maybe pin the paper piece into the centre of the stack for safety, maybe? You could do, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm quite lazy sewer. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, I mean everybody has their own way of doing things, um, and this is, you know, this is a, 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 qu a fairly quick way of, of doing it. And then you would pin your bits in. There you go. So you've got that. And you've got the um, uh, the template for hexes. You've got all the That's templates the for the hexes. Fantastic. And then you would just point, pin it like that. Mm -hmm. And so then we've got our paper piecing here. So I've tacked these ones, mm -hmm. and then you basically hand sew. Lots of your people will know how to do this. Mm -hmm. I need my glasses for this. Well, it's this always, it's always nice to have a little reminder, isn't it? It is. Although, so don't worry, we're not spending the whole hour oh, no, no, uh, no, no, doing no. this. We've I'm got only lots show. more to do. So you just get your right sides together. Yep. Make sure they're aligned. And then over sew. This is the first time I've ever done hand sewing. Is it? Day. Yeah. It's all about, the, all about the sewing machine normally, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, you just over sew it along the edge 
And you keep going. I love your enthusiasm you for stay, the Liberty fabric. I, 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 honestly, I adore it. I, it feels I, so nice, don't you think? I, yes, it does. It's got a really, really lovely texture to it um, and, a, and a real delicacy. This I think it feels I a love. little bit like silk. I mean, it's 100% cotton, and this is all called Tarna Lawn, mm -hmm. which is a, a name that only Liberty use. Right. Um, but it, it's such a high thread count. It's so fine. And that's the way that they can get all of those really intricate flowers and all those intricate florals. Uh, okay. So it's the really high thread count that is, is, is the reason for the, for the very, very mm -hmm. intricate designs. Here are all the fabrics that are, uh, are coming in this, in this bundle. Um, this, inc this is incredible. Now, what size are these strips that, that come with, the, um, with this bundle? They're, they're lovely, aren't they? They're fantastic. They're almost... Well, it's enough to make two of these hexes. Yes, it's almost, when you cut it in half, it almost makes those sort of almost the five-inch squares, isn't it? Yeah, almost. almost. The, the original larger charm pack. So there we've got that, and then we would just fold it over again and do right sides together. Mm -hmm. Can we get the that's iron great. ready for Yes, of course. Yes, yeah, see, that, that's, my, that's my key job here, is uh, ironing collector. I know. I, I know I'm that. very good at it. No, yeah, I'm very yeah. good at it. I've had lots of practice now. <laughs> okay, is half enough? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the iron is now on. Oh, amazing. I need it fairly. I need it. Do you want to whack it Not up? Not maximum, but okay. about three quarters would be good. Okay, all good. Very good. I've lost mission control, but never mind. <laughs> we'll just carry on regardless. Oh, we can just carry on. So, I mean, I'm only going to show you one of these because it's the same process until you've made, you've, you've fixed all the hexes together. And, um, and then you get your one side of your bag and the pattern's in there. So once you've fixed all your hexagons together, you can cut the pattern out of it. It's quite a tight squeeze okay. on the pattern. So right. you need to be a bit careful in the cutting process on this one. This is all about fine work, isn't it? Fine work, fine fabric. Fantastic. It is, yeah. You have to treat it with care, Liberty Fabric, because it's so lovely. So many of our customers say, oh, I just can't bring myself to use it. But I'm, I mean, I'm very gung-ho with it, because obviously we, we see it all the time. And, and you don't need to wash them pre? You don't need to pre-wash them before right. you sew with them. Okay. Obviously, you need to wash them at some point if you, mm -hmm. you know, yep. <laughs> things get dirty. Oh, yeah, no, no, absolutely. But if you're combining Liberty Fabric with other types of fabric, it's best to pre-wash the other fabrics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but Liberty doesn't need pre-washing because okay. it's so fine, it doesn't shrink. Alrighty. So there we are. So we've, so we've, got, so we've got the three together. Pieces together. Yeah. Okay, and you what happens just, next? So what happens next is, ta-da, you have your... Ta-da! <laughs> ta -da. We've jumped to stage because we have jumped quite, piecing we have seen. Well, I can't sit and hand sew for the whole, no, for the whole no, thing, no, no, no. can I? So what I, this is one that we've hand sewn together okay. before. And we've, we've got our pattern and we've, and we've cut it out. And actually I've... It's got a it's got a, a box pleat in the top. Right. So we're going to show you how to do the box pleat in a mo. But I'm going to do the handle. Now you 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 have used should I say um, a wadding which which isn't We've in the bundle. We've used the wadding. It's not in the bundle. I'm going to bring it no. up. Bring the details up towards the end. Yeah. None none of the waddings in our patterns yeah. are in the bundle. So mm -hmm. it, it, to be honest, it's a great thing to have in your in your mm. store cupboard anyway. Definitely. In, in your in your liberty in your in your sewing store cupboard. Sorry. Yes. Um, so yeah, and it, it gives the it gives the bag a bit of bulk. It's lovely, really, really nice. So I'll do the box pleats first, and then while we're waiting for that to heat up. Fabulous. I'll just read a message from lovely Sadie in Cornwall. Good morning, Sadie. How are you? She says, morning, both. What a start. Bags and butterflies with lovely fabrics. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Don't forget, at 9 o'clock, um, Sadie, as well, uh, we have the, ama the amazing... Uh, stripes galore, K facet quilt. And, and still, they are finalising um, what the price will be. They are calling the head honchos in uh, immediate media it's very exciting, to see it? what we can do. Yeah, they've exciting. not made the decision yet. So what I've done on that is I've done one of the box pleats. So okay. you, you you use according to your pattern, and you and you fold it across and pin it in place. It, it creates a lovely sort of shape to the bag actually, and then we're just Ooh, sewing um, across. Mm. Half half of the stock of oh. the Anna bag kit. Goodbye. It's because it's it's because it's named Good, after me, isn't it? Goodbye. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, a style icon yourself. Let's <laughs> go already. Not at all. Um, and the smaller charm pack, by the way, the two and a half inch squares. It's thirty six of those two and a half inch squares. Um, is there at the bottom of your screen? There, A L B Y ninety two. Again, that is flying out of the door this morning. 
I think you were looking forward to the Liberty um, fabrics returning. It's nice to have these bundles. Again, we don't get to do them as much as we would like to either, so it's fantastic we to have them We can't keep up with the pace. I know. Um, take advantage <laughs> while you can. Yeah, you do. So we finished the box pleat on so the I've front. So I've done the box pleat on the front. So all we've done is we've, we've, we've cut out according to the pattern that's in the kit. Yes. We've added a bit of wadding onto the back and sewn all around the outside, which is, which is very easy for your guys. And just then I'm going to... Just yeah. going to flick through as well. Actually, you don't need to see it necessarily, but... Well, one of the um, things I love fully about... instructions. Yeah, sorry, about mm. Alice's patterns. Or, uh, she does hand drawings for yes. her. So yes. it actually makes you. it really simple. I'll show you. Because I'm a very visual person. I go for drawings. Words sometimes mm -hmm. go, oh, I you know, don't understand them. Mm -hmm. But she puts words with the pictures, which I think are great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can see there are uh, hand drawings there plus photos of what's uh, happening stage by stage. You've got the templates for the hexes, by the way, which I'll just... Uh, they're there at the, at the back as well. So, again, very, very simple, very, very easy. Everything you will need. They're you always very, very straightforward. You can use those again straight and again, those templates. Yeah, you keep going back to it. And, of course, um, with your other fabrics as well. You know, once you've made oh, yeah. this from the Liberty fabrics, you'll be saying, right, OK, well, you know, this range and this range, and I'll, I'll use the same thing. People aren't allowed to use any other fabrics. No, absolutely. They are, they are, they are. Uh, Obviously, um, you sell it. Always. Other fabrics are available. Are they? Not in, this hour. Not in this hour. Not in this hour. Not in this hour. Right. So this is the this handle. Is the handle. We've, now, we have shown this before, but people absolutely loved it. Yeah. So I'm going to show it again. So what? What is it, essentially? What is this? It's called fold band. Right. And basically, it's for it's it's designed for um, waistbands. Oh, okay. It's really, and I love this. Oh. And it, we're going to make handles out of it. Is this like a quick win? It's really amazing. Okay. Right. Show. So you cut your show, piece show, of show. fabric to shape. Yes. And then it's got. Obviously, it's got a, it's some, interfacing some basically with grooves. holes in yeah. with grooves. Oh, okay. Um, and so you would iron it onto the uh, the shiny side yeah. of the folder band. Okay. Because that's the bonding side, isn't it? That's the bonding side. Okay. And obviously, we just need to be a bit careful that we keep yeah. it straight here. And you need a fairly hot iron to do this. Thank you. I have a little. And you can use a piece of fabric in between if you're worried about. Mm -hmm. It can take quite a hot heat, actually, Liberty fabric. Yes, because it's 100% cotton, isn't it? Yeah. So we just need making sure it's sticking on. Yeah, great. Perfect yes. job of the iron temperature. Thank there you very you go, much. See. I'll make a great apprentice one day. <laughs> It's very, very busy this morning. Let me tell you, it's very, very busy. Remember, um, if you're not on the internet... In fact, I'll swap places with you and I'll, I'll talk to you over here. Um, if you're not on the internet, um, you can, of course, call us. It is a free phone number, 0800 112 4433. Uh, and you can get through to us that way as well. Remember, that's a free call. You can call as many times as you like, and it's still only 1 PMP for the whole day. Right. So we've got it on there, okay. as you can see, and it's, right. it's created... Let's bring a... it to the middle and... and, and do what we do. Do we need to iron some more? I, I did need to do a little bit oh, more. Oh, go on ironing, then. That's yeah, no, but it's on. only because it makes it easier to sew. OK. Just put it over here on the edge of the screen, that's all. Oh, sorry. No, well, right. I'll be really quick. That's so telly you just then for you. fold it in half. Mm -hmm. And then... I know, it's trying to fit everything into the space, isn't it? It's a yes. lot to do. And then we're folding those edges in. I, I, I think your customers are going to love this. I, just, I love it. It makes life so easy. Um, the Anabag kit, by the way, which is the details right the way over over here. <laughs> um, we are now in single figures oh. already. It's not even half past eight. Um, it's a good job we have lots planned into this hour. Um, Shall we move on we to the now, next we are now, Well, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. <laughs> Ooh, kind of. So we're folding the little ends yeah. over, and then it folds in the middle. It folds into the middle. And oh, if it you kind get of. Some tins... It it kind of sorts itself out, doesn't it? I know. Hannah, it... this is a project for you. And it keeps it straight. <laughs> um, Caroline in Somerset um, has been in touch this morning. Good morning, Caroline. She says the perfect fabric. Uh, for my first attempt at a clamshell cushion. Um, and we think Caroline's looking for the larger tar charm pack, actually. That's Brilliant. That's exciting. I'd uh, love to see that when it's yeah, finished. Yeah, definitely. If you have made anything with Liberty Fabrics, please do use the time that um, Anna is here with us, email in and just show off. Show it off. We'd love to see it. We would. Studio at sewingquarter.com. We would love to see it, seriously, because this fabric is amazing. And it's great to see the fabric as it is individually, but even better 
to see it in a final creation. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great. So uh, look at that. So, so that's the handle we've done. Got, well, you've got to top stitch it. Okay. I, have I got time to top stitch it? Oh, we're pushing for time. Aren't well, I've got very at, at lightning speed, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. The problem no is, pressure. if I go lightning speed, I get I go wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you top stitch both ends. I'll I'll, I'll top stitch one Alrighty. side, and then you can get the general idea. Is that fast enough? That's Ooh. brilliant. And you do this on both sides of the handle, and yep. then you'd attach it to the bag. And you can see where I've attached it to the other, other side of the bag, actually. Yes. Already. So this is the other side I've made. This is the back of the bag, and okay. this beautiful Betsy that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. And you can see that oh, yes. I've attached it here. Yep. So actually, you attach the handle before you attach the top band. Oh, OK. So let's pretend that this is top we're stitch on both iron. sides. For now, yes. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. And... So let's pretend I've top stitched both sides, seeing as we're running out of time. And we attach the handle here like this. You just need to make sure, so it's basically either side of the box pleat. The measurements are in the are in the um, it's all in the in the instructions, obviously. Uh, which only another six people can actually obtain, <laughs> I've just been told. <laughs> so um, if you if you're wanting That's to make the Anna bag and it is spectacular, um, all of the fabric is there, so the fabric strips to make the hexes. All you would need to add to that is some wadding, and we'll give you details for um, some wadding um, a little bit later. So just after the show, what we'll do is we'll um, we'll put some details in uh, over the break, so you can add that to your order or speak to the team when you call us. Um, 0800 112 4433. And then we're adding the handles onto the bag. Okay. And if I've got time, using the Elmer 680, the... of course. Yeah, I like this sewing machine, actually. It's good, isn't it? It's nice and quick, isn't it? Quite it universal, is isn't it? Yeah, it is. If you're looking for new machines, by the way, just go and have a look on our website, because, again, the, the, the full spec and everything that the machines will do um, will be there as well. OK, so we've got our handle on there, and then we add a... Where's my top gone? I lost my top. Hannah's just saying that she's um, starting to drop hints for the uh, Elna 680 for Christmas. <laughs> just if anyone relevant is oh, listening. I've got a rather fancy sewing machine at home already, but, you know... Well, you Names know, not to be, uh, you can never disclosed. have too many, can you? So, I mean, I'm not sure how much time I've got, but we, uh, before you want me to move on to the charmos, what? Um, what should we do now, Hannah? Should we carry on? I can, I can carry on. We'll finish. We'll finish one side of the bag, shall we? I can give you three more minutes before we then move on to our second ever, because you know we've, we've planned an awful lot into this hour, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> I had planned slightly less, but they've, uh, you know, it's... Yeah. it's we, we've... It's all great. We, lo we love it. Yeah. We love, Hannah, Hannah's uh, we love made a challenge. this a bit of a marathon, hasn't she, this hour? Yeah, she has. And, you do, and then we're sewing at a... She just wants to see lots and lots of things happen. Well, and, wh and why not? Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's, it's why we've all morning. tuned in, isn't it? Yeah. And so we've... Let me just check I've got it right before I'm uh -huh. me rushing my way through it. And so we're sewing the top on. And as you go past the handles, just take care, because you're throwing, sewing through quite a lot of layers of fabric and wadding at that point. Yeah. This is time to take it easy, isn't it? Well, I don't want to break the needle on air. Yeah. That would be bad. I heard a knocking, but, it's, but it seems to have survived. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all in the quality of the sewing machine, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. That would be the Elna 680. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got to do a bit of a slightly bigger seam allowance on that, because we've got... Um, so we're going to do a half inch seam allowance, going to redo it. Yeah. So that we tuck all those edges. Oh, down to in. two oh. of the kits now. Down to just two remaining. It's all right, it's fine. It can cope. It's all doing well. Yeah. It survived another run. It survived another run. <laughs> so we've got our we've got our bag. That's delicious. Uh -huh. And then you basically then connect, connect attach the two the together. Two, yeah? And they've got a, a fab the pocket front. and a fab lining. It's great, isn't ta -da, it? Ta-da, that is your bag. It is, ta-da. <laughs> and remember, in this kit, this is the back as well. Um, so the, it's slightly different to the original make that we had. Um, we've got the Betsy fabric for the back. Yes, you, we you would go. attach these yes. at the end process. You know, yeah. So it just doesn't flop down like yeah. that. It no, just, absolutely. You know, so it's a there lovely, lovely bag. You can get loads in it. It's, it's, 
I've got, I've got one. I've got, actually, I've got several. <laughs> several well, you bags do of Do surprise me. Yes, there. I've got. I have many you Liberty do bags. Do surprise me. Right, we're going to have a quick look at the charm packs again, and um, I will be back for you in just a second. Somebody's asking, what's the lovely quilt on the table, and are you showing it? We are going to be um, doing a demo. Um, on the technique that is used on what it what you've seen laid out on the table in just a second um, But let me show you the charm packs. No, I don't have the charm packs here. They are um, Let me show you the um, the larger one first And I think this is the this is the blue one. I think this is the multi one. Um, this is delicious Absolutely beautiful and these are flying out of the door these charm packs today. These are the five inch squares here they are um, 20 charms in each pack which are just beautiful and delicious. And well over half of the stock of this one has already started. Look at the colours there. Just incredible. If everyone checks out their baskets that has this already, we will be very, very limited, I have to say to you. And, and to know that, ah, oh, this amazing. This is, um, this is very similar to the um, Iantha, isn't it? It's I know, it's just incredible, though. It's like, really, you can almost feel the sort of tendrils of the feather, if that is the right word. Do you know what I mean? Like a peacock's feather. Yes, absolutely. It's like stepping back in time, isn't it? To the days of the classic liners and the wonderful old hotels. You know, you know when you feel like you've always been born too late? Do you know what I mean? You think, actually, where was I when this was the kind of, this was the kind of decor of a hotel bedroom? or a fabulous classic liner that you used to travel on, you know, the old Cunard liners. Look at those, they're just amazing. 14 pounds and 95 pence, very, very, very limited indeed. I can't show you all of them uh, right now because we are just so, so busy today. Um, we really are, that's how it comes to you. Um, indeed, FGBY10 at 14 pounds and 95 pence. Shall I show you the other five inch squares? Yeah, the other large one uh, is the pink selection. And again, these are awesome, absolutely awesome. Um, just look at the delicacy. Um, th this is the, yeah, this is the five inch square um, charm pack, isn't it? So you have 20 of these five inch squares or um, what is it in centimeters? I don't really do centimeters. We have to do 13 centimeters. We have to do centimeters on telly for some reason. Um, but you and I know them as five inch square. Look at that. I mean, look at how soft and sensual that mix of that lovely soft pastel pink and that sort of cream ivory background, just honestly beautiful and amazing. And look at this for a rainbow, gorgeous. Um, here's the details then for you. ABBY19 um, is the item uh, code there for you at 14 pounds and 95 pence. Right, and with said charm squares, and forgive me, we are moving very, very quick today. We're in this hour, we've got, you know, it's the kind of three projects um, going on now. We are working on number two. So we're working on um, the charm pack. Well, this is the multicolored charm pack, yeah, isn't it, we're so working on? I thought on. I'd just show you some techniques that we can use for charm packs. Okay, great. I mean, you've, you've, you've said some you know, fantastic things already that you can use them for. You can use mm -hmm. them for cutting out beautiful um, patterns, so mm -hmm. flowers to aurage applique. Mm -hmm. um, and we're showing that demo in the second hour. We are, so yes. That's a really great one because as soon as that world is open to you, the raw oh, edge. I love the raw edge. Honestly, I'm really, applique. really looking forward to the raw edge applique. I've never seen it before. That's where we need the snail on the sewing machine. I oh, love yes. the snail and the hair on yes. the sewing machine. So that's, okay. so that's good. All right. Go slow. So what, we only have a few minutes. <clears throat> so I've taken one of this. <laughs> I've taken one of these charm squares, five inch yeah. charm squares, mm -hmm. and I have. I'm going to show you how you can mix it up with a bit of white. So you okay. might have. You know, you might want to mix it up with other plain colours. Um, you might want to use a lovely red for this one, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but we're going to show you how to do some um, flying geese. Okay. Flying geese. Do you know what is, the world of? Is is that the kind of technique that we're seeing on that? On that in the foreground. That's not, but like if I show you one of these really quickly, okay, and right. then I can show you, yes. I can show you that. So right. that's half square triangles. Okay. This is flying geese. Right. But both, uh, you know, are, are fantastic ways of, mm -hmm. of of using up these charms. So you use one five inch square. Yeah. Then I've cut out two, two point seven five. So just larger than the two inches and a half inch. Yeah. Out of. So the overlap in the middle. So the overlap in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Great. And then we put them corner to corner, mm -hmm. and then we do a line corner to corner. I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> and we draw a line with our water erasable, water erasable pen. pen. And then we sew a um, quarter of an inch either side of that line. Mm -hmm. So it's just one or two ideas for your charm packs. I have to say, <clears throat> um, the, the multicolour, the multicolour, 
Um, we are now in single figures for the multicolour charm pack. Um, very quickly, and the, the one. <laughs> pink one. The pink one over there. Oh, there's the pink. Um, how many of those have we got left at the moment? Less than half of the stock available in the pink. Um, and your multicolour is in single figures. <gasps> and, and what about the two in and a half inch squares? How are they doing? Yeah, you could do the same techniques, but obviously smaller with the two and a half inch really, squares. You get really, really tiny ones. Very that. detailed. Why this is why I've showed you, with, shown you with these these ones because yeah. you get to, you'll see the size in a minute of the Alrighty. of what we get out. So yeah, you're saying a quarter inch either side of your line. Yeah. In the end, we end up with our little flying geese. So what we do then? We take our pins out. I'm not sure I can cope with the pressure it's or great, the speed. It's great, isn't it? Ooh. It's fantastic. Like challenge, then... cha it's not challenge Annika, but it's challenge Anna this morning. Oh uh... You're doing well, though. Ooh. It's okay. You've got you've got a whole hour at nine o'clock to just lie down and, and no, think about it. Oh. And right. get ready to come back and do another another round again. Uh, we're going to do the um, raw edge applique in the mm. second hour with Anna because I think we we are going to probably run out of time, aren't we? We are. Now, normally hour. you'd press it at this point, but I'm not sure right. we've got time for no. pressing, have we? I can finger press for you if you like. Go on then. Uh, do I have to do it that way round? Yeah. I? Yeah. Shall we? Uh, yeah. Come on. Shall we meet in the middle? Let's meet in the middle. Because <laughs> I think you'll get there quicker than I will. Probably got longer nails. <laughs> Oh, you're doing it like, oh, no, it's fine. We can just go to one side. Oh, OK, right. There you go. Oh, you just okay. need to press the seam. Oh, there you go. See? Never send a boy to do a man's job, I have to say. And then there you we've go. got our... We've got half a flying geese here, so then we put another square here, and we do exactly right. the same process again. Yes. OK. I love just this Just while you're doing that, the details on the screen at the moment are for the smaller... <clears throat> For the five centimetre or two and a half inch in language we understand, the <laughs> two and a half inch um, squares, you're getting 36 of those, which is amazing. And that's is that's a mixture of the multicolour and the uh, the pink, isn't it? And and some others as well, I and believe. And it's worth saying that that's enough to make a, um, a 10 inch square patchwork cushion. Oh, fantastic. So you could just right. join them that's all good together. To know. Yeah. Brilliant. So, yeah, and I, I was going to do that, but I'm not sure I've got time. <laughs> what, you've, you've got an hour off in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, can, I can make it and then I can show you in the second half. So, again, we're doing exactly the same process of a quarter yes. of an inch either side. Yes. And then we're going to cut it again. Oh, I've got a tangle. Ignore the tangle. Oh, we've lost the thread. I'm not going to finish. Okay, don't worry. We've lost our thread. It's but fine. shall I just show you? Yeah. I can show you show one. Show me anyway. what would have happened. No, I can show you one half. You see, oh, okay. one, one half. Yes. This side's done. Right. So we cut along there. It's very exciting, isn't it? <laughs> can you believe that three quarters of an hour has gone already? <laughs> no. It doesn't it feel like five minutes? I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so there we, we've got a flying geese. So that's what you call a flying geese? Yes. Well, ah, a goose. Yeah. Goose, yes. A goose. Yes. Geese and then is... you would join all your other flying geese. Okay. I've made them before. Let's put some together <clears throat> and just see what they look so like So you together. can How make you would a lovely cushion on here. So you would sew them together ah, and they would fly. And you can make them fly in oh, whichever direction you, you want. So you can make them fly all in the same direction. Do you know the picture I had in my mind was at Hilda Ogden's living room? And it's far from. I don't and think then you can make, often ever had liberty. You can make these fly this way. Let's put some different ones together. And you can do whatever colour combinations you like. So you could, you know, you could do all pinks or you could do all blues and greens. So it's I, jolly nice. I have to tell you that the, um, the pink larger charm pack has sold out and gone completely. Well done, congratulations. The multicoloured one, sorry, <clears> the pink <throat> one is still there. The multicoloured one has sold out and gone. Shall I show you the pink? Have Here I got time is. to do half square triangles? Here it is. Oh, um, Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> uh, no. We have to move on to our, our market totes, don't we? Because we've got to get that in before nine o'clock as well, haven't we? Um, and the charm packs nearly sold out. Right, we've got around about 15 minutes, so we will look at our next project, which is this fabulous market tote, Ooh. which is incredible. This is using the, um, the Iantha fabric from Liberty, and you've got so much of it. I've got to just show you from the kit that we have here. 
just how much of this fabric you are getting. I mean, it is just oodles. It's dream. Even if you're not looking to make the particular project that we have here for it, just to have this fabric. Is there a right and a wrong way, Anna, for this? Uh, yeah, so you would want... Yes, that's that's the right way. That's the right way, yeah. yes. Almost like... Um... To be honest, I don't think it would matter if you did it the other way. It's because fantastic. I think It's one of those patterns, isn't it, that's just fantastic either way. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's just dream-worthy. It's, it's beautiful. Feel the fabric. It's a heavier weight canvas, yes, this fabric. Is. So it's fantastic for a for a shopping bag or, you know, yes. for this market tote, you know, go to the market. And, it, and it's not at all... Yeah, so it's not at all sheer. You can barely see through it. I can barely see the studio lights through it. But apart from that, um, yeah. you know, it's a very, very it's dense fabric. It's fantastic fabrics. Isn't it? It's mm. one of the... And it's such an iconic print. This print mm. is... It's um, not this colourway, but a different colourway is on the, on, the, on the seats in the shard. Oh. I like that little fax. Oh. Well, my nice little fax. Oh. It's classy enough for the shard. Nice. It's classy enough for Very us nice. here, isn't right. it? Right, let's get started then, shall we? Um, you've seen all the details uh, of what you get in the kit, so you get your three metres of um, strap, you get the fabric, and you get, of course, the full instructions from Alice Caroline, um, which is brilliant. And again, hand-drawn pictures, all looks great. Let's get started. I might try, <laughs> <laughs> I might try and show the half-square triangles in the second if we've got time in right. the second half, because I okay. think that would be really nice. Yes. But anyway, we'll it's see. It's quite unlikely. <clears throat> OK. But Let's see how it goes. They won't on. let me know them. <laughs> you um, know how it goes. So you've cut out your, your pieces of fabric. Yes. Um, and I mean, I've used, you can see I've used a, a, a white thread on, on these handles, but you, you'd, you'd probably mm -hmm. buy a hot pink to, so that mm -hmm. it, it disappears into the, yeah. into the, um, into the, uh, the webbing. Yes. And I love, and we've put the webbing on the outside of this, and it's, mm -hmm. don't you look, it looks fab, doesn't it? Does, it does, it looks brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely we, super. We absolutely love this uh, Beautiful. bag. Beautiful. So, Hello. yes, I'm going to sew a handle on. Very capacious so bag as well. Oh, yes, it is. I'm loving that word over yeah. the last couple of days. Oh, yeah. I'm using it as much as I can. <laughs> Do you look in the dictionary and find words? No, I, think I may have made that word up. It ah. may not even exist. Um, so when you're putting your handle on, you just need to make sure that you don't have a twist in the top. Yes. Um, that's the only thing you really need to take mm -hmm. care of. Mm -hmm. And you need to make sure that they're spaced correctly. OK. Um, so we're going to sew a handle on. Now, this will test the sewing machine. Yes, because it's going through the handle as well, isn't it's going it? going through the handle as well. Let's see. Well, if, if anything can, it'll be the Elna 680EX. Available right now from the sewingquarter.com website. So we're going to sew. I'm going to go fairly gently. Oh no, it's it's, it's yeah, coping with like it very well. Yeah, hot knife through butter. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we would sew up, and then we would strengthen it at the top and the bottom, just to give that bag handle a little bit more, you know, strength. Yeah. This is where I go a bit quiet. No, it's all right. You go for it. No, you're concentrating, aren't you? I absolutely That's love the thing. this fabric. The, the thing when people are at home and they are sewing, and I'm sure you'll you'll agree with this at home. If if I asked you to come in and demonstrate something where normally you would just sit and do it, and you may maybe sort of mumbling to yourself or talking <laughs> to the telly or something, singing along. But to you're not track. explaining to somebody else what you're doing as you're doing it. You're just concentrating on doing it, isn't it? So exactly. All of our uh, our guest presenters are are amazing at being able to do and to speak at the same time. So I'm going backwards and forwards twice at the top to give it that extra strength. Do you know, I've just worked something out. This what? is why very few of our guest um, presenters are men. Because we can't, can't multitask. Multi I'm sure you can. I'm sure <laughs> that's a, Well, that's we'll a, have a go. That's some kind of urban myth, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Sometimes I, I completely lose my power of speech. I'm, I'm having to conform to that kind of stereotype. That's absolutely <laughs> fine with me. One Ooh. at a time is fine. Let's just check we're not saying through the rest of the bag. Um, this fabric is... Uh, loads of your pe your um, guests will recognise this as being a, yes. a really iconic Liberty fabric. Yeah. And it it's was, beautiful, Yeah, it? it's a very Art Nouveau, isn't it? It's incredible. I mean, a, a, as well, I take it you would use the lion's share of it in this project. You'd have a, maybe a little... You don't little, have much left no. over, to be honest, but you have the little corners that we've cut out at the bottom. Yeah. Again, which... though, I, I do think that when you get your kit home, and remember... Um, is it? How is it just 1995? That's that's another thing oh, which baffles me slightly. I know. Well, have we been um, twisting some arms somewhere? I think. Well, it, it's uh, just a great value, a great value bag, isn't it? Isn't that wonderful? I'd love to cover a wall in that, wouldn't you? Oh yeah. Mm. Good wallpaper. That'd be very I very. Think there is a Liberty wallpaper in that. Actually, is there? Somewhere. Yeah, you know, should people want to match their wallpaper with their bag? My eyes just watered at the uh, potential price tag. Of papering uh, one wall. Yeah. So let's let's stay with making a bag at 19.95 for now. Yeah. Shall we? <laughs> Small steps. 
So I'm going, I'm strengthening along the bottom again. So there we go, we've got, we've, we've, um, we've sewn a handle on. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do a French seam. Thank you. That's all right. You're so kind. I'm, you just... see, I'm quite a clumsy person. No, no, it's, it's potential hazards in, in, in the roads, you see. My husband said on our wedding speech, he said, yeah. I'm the only person he's ever known to actually slip on a banana skin. Ah, <gasps> really? Yeah. How on earth did you do that? Well, well I know I just... how you did it, but... Um... Well, I'm just really clumsy. Wow. So, Where was I'm just that? warning you. Was it in front of lots of people? No, it took us a long time again. Oh, okay. I think it might have just been in front of him, but so it's okay. Oh, okay yeah. Paled into urban myth now. Y yes, right. yes. So, um, <laughs> so we've, we've put on our handle and we've cut yes. out our fabric and we've cut out three inch squares yes. along the bottom. Okay. That makes our, our gusset or our, our box at the oh, bottom. Oh, right. Okay. Gives it a bit of, a bit of depth at well, the bottom. Well, bag does have a gusset then. Hmm? A bag does have a gusset, then. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't... No, it's, it's just a, that I... It's got I, a very nice word. It's a very unattractive it, it's, word. It's not really it? a handbag word, is it? Not really. really. Well, it, it gives it a bit of depth at the bottom. Yes. You can see on the... Yes. You can see on that. It, it, it allows you to put more shopping in your bag. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? Yes. The more shopping, the better. And very so, stylish shopping this is going to be, though, isn't it? It is, but do you know what? I've got... Uh, this is my favourite, favourite go-to bag for <laughs> nipping to the library, nipping to the shop. Um, if it were retailing this bag for a second, I'm just thinking outside the box here a little bit. If, if, if you, for instance, as a company, I know, I know you wouldn't because you, you sell fabric primarily, but if, if a tote bag like that made with Liberty Fabric was on sale... Well, it certainly wouldn't be for £20, would it? No. No. Maybe £120. But... Yeah, well, I mean, you know, Liberty stuff does come with its price tag. Mm, um, quite right, and it is a of really... the name and reputation. Yeah, and it is a fantastic way of getting, getting a really nice bag mm. at, a, at a really, really cost-effective price. So, this is a French seam, so... I'd be like, she's sewing the wrong sides together, she's going wrong. But actually, on a French seam, you sew the wrong sides together first, and then you trim. Okay. And we, I've, I've done one on the other side, so we can see if we right, really completely run out of time. Right. We'll do it. Um, I have to just tell you, um, just coming up for the, for the next hour, um, Hannah is still on the telephone line to senior management within Immediate Media about this cave quilt offer that's coming up in the, uh, in the next hour. Um, and I, I, they still haven't yet made a final decision. They haven't made a decision yet. As to, I mean, you remember that the man himself was here um, with Natasha, and it's the stripes galore quilt, which is just um, incredible. And they still haven't made a final decision. It may well be that we're matching the previous offer price yet. Um, we are saying offer. It's still being negotiated. Down to the wire. On a Saturday morning. I can't believe that we've got anybody in management <laughs> communicating on a Saturday morning. This uh. has got to be a first, hasn't it? I mean, we are a Monday to Friday business, generally, so <laughs> this is great. Okay, so I've sewn that at a quarter inch seam. Okay, so we've we've sewn yes, right. And then we're going to trim, and then we're going to sew it right sides together. Okay. To create our um, French seam, if I get time. Um, two thirds of the kit has gone. Uh, we've got about two minutes oh. left. Um, but we could potentially turn that into a little bit longer. I've been told. Okay. Depending on how long it takes so to create a French seam. Chuck Well, I can show you on the other side. Okay. So, then we turn it round the other way. So you're bagging it in rather than out? Yep. Which is the right side? Where am I? Which is the one I have done, which I, this is the one I haven't done. Okay. You'd press it at this point, but I'm sensing yep. I don't have time. Uh, yeah, good guess. <laughs> Good guess. So I always, I'm a, I hate ironing, but I'm a firm believer when you're sewing in pressing. So I'm going to do it with my fingernails. Yes. Um, explain what a what a French seam will be. A French seam words. will be in words. Yes. I told you I was very visual. Yes. Okay. Well, show me. No, then, no, no. It's fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> it basically creates a really neat seam inside the bag, so you haven't okay. got any loose. So this is the other side. So there's your there's your French seam. Oh, I see. So right. that's that's what's inside. Okay. So there's no loose edges. There's no raw edges ah, okay. to fray. There's yeah. no, you know, there's nothing okay. to catch on your shopping. So then we would. Where am I bent? Okay. In it. 
Um, if everyone who has this in their basket right now, the kit for this at 19.95, if everyone checks out right now, that's the end of the story, which has happened, <laughs> honestly, at, like you like you timed it yourself. Um, but remember, success is not necessarily guaranteed if it, if it is sitting in a basket, remember. Um, so please make sure that you check it out. It's one of those things that I would say, when we get to the end of um, every hour, or if we give you the warning, just check out straight away. And then come back and then add more through the morning and then keep checking out. It's only one PMP per day, remember, which is incredible, really. Even if we're selling sewing machines, and the Elna 680 EX is, is quite substantial with some weight to it, um, we'd still send that out for 2 dollars Amazing, great. really, isn't it? Right, value. so, French seam, sorry. So I've done my... So we've, we've pressed it. Imagine yes. I've pressed it. Yes. I'm taking care at the top. Yep. Probably give it a little bit of extra sewing at the top. Whip yep. those pins out. Yep. And then so we've got our neat seam inside. But we've got our... So it's all neat on the outside too. Oh, fabulous. Look, you've been pressing all this time without any need because you can yeah. create, create a beautiful French seam without the need of pressing. <laughs> there you go. I've taught you something as well. I think about pressing. <laughs> oh, I do it all the time, actually. So, That's so you've got your Look. seam here, but then if you turn it inside... Yeah. It's beautiful and neat. Yeah, let me show, let's show the camera as well. There you go. So that's the, that's the inside. Very, very neat indeed, without pressing as well. And there's the outside. Right, we have, um, we have, say again, Hannah, sorry, less than 10 available um, of the market bag kit right now. The multi-coloured uh, charm pack has sold out completely and utterly. The smaller um, charm pack as well, the, the two and a half inch, we still have. Um, and the pink charms, the larger charm pack, uh, we still have some remaining as well, but it's only a very, very small number. We're approaching single figures on those as well. And the Anna bag has completely now sold out and gone. If Anna's you sold do out. have, yeah, has <laughs> sold out now officially. Um, if you do have anything in your web basket right now, can I urge you just to check it out because you will want to clear the decks for the next hour anyway, of course, because it is the uh, the case. Um, quilt. Now, when Anna comes back at 10 o'clock after a very, very long lie down, at least 59 minutes of that hour, I would just uh, imagine, <laughs> when we wake her up again, um, we are going to be doing some raw edge applique, um, like this butterfly um, block that we have here. So we're going to be learning all about that. I've never seen it, I've never done it, and I want to find out everything there is to know. So, Anna, um, I promise I will give you more time to do that. I promise. That's that OK? Yeah, that's perfect. Good. Thank OK, you. so I, hopefully Anna's still talking to me in a whole hour's time. <laughs> Coming up next, then, we have got Joe Carter and we have got... We have finalised the offer right now. I haven't been told what it is yet, but Hannah is squealing with delight and that is all I can tell you right now and that's quite something to be hearing down your ear let me tell you aren't I the lucky one um so you're the lucky ones as well thank you so much Hannah Pleasure. see you in an hour yeah and see you in about three minutes from now with one of the most incredible K facet offers you will ever have seen here at sewing quarter us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the herringbone stitch. This is a stitch that's used for holding two layers of fabric together and its construction makes it ideal for things like stretch fabrics because the stitches will move with the cloth. It's also a really nice decorative stitch. So I'm going to start with my needle and thread. Now I'm actually using embroidery thread so you can see what I'm doing and I've also put a knot in the end. So starting from the wrong side of the fabric, we're going to go through to the top. And we're actually going to be working from left to right, but you can also work right to left, whatever's comfortable for you. And we're going to start with a diagonal stitch going up. So that's our first stitch. Now you're going to come back on yourself and to the left of that stitch, but this time we're going to come down. You want to try and keep this as even as possible, so you can see that we've created our first cross. Now again, going from the left to the right, we're going to create oh, our stitch. So you can see we've got a cross there and a cross there. So 
So there we have our herringbone stitch. On Wednesday the 27th of September, Tilly Rose makes a welcome return to the Sewing Quarter studio. She's bringing with her a collection of wonderful stitch kits so you can sew your own fabulous cushions at home. Stitch kits produce a wide range of pre-printed canvases to help you make striking cross-stitch creations in no time. Tilly will showcase some of her favourites, starting with some fabulously festive Christmas-themed designs, followed by a host of images inspired by the natural world. So join us and the talented Tilly Rose for some merry makes and some home-sewn creature comforts on Wednesday the 27th of September at 8am and 10am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment. This is the moment where we do something rather unbelievable here at Sewing Quarter. Um, oh, I don't even know where to begin. Now, I don't even know what decision has been made because we have three minutes in a break. Everyone is running backwards and forwards. We're changing everything over. We're swapping our guest experts, of course, so machines are going in and coming out. And, and we basically have time to say, Hi, Joe Carter. <laughs> how are you? I'm very good. How are you? Good. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. How excited are we about this? I'm very excited. Oh, my word. Right. Inside this box right now is everything that you will need to make the ultimate um, K facet quilt. It's the Stripes Galore quilt. We have sold it previously here at Sewing Quarter. Um, Joe, you've been here with it as well, haven't you? I have. Um, and the original price, Hannah, remind me. £249.95. I just want you to hold that figure in your mind because I know many, many, many of you came in and thought, wow, that's good. That's good. I would have paid twice that. Um, and have it. You are going to love this. The man himself, of course, has been with us here in our studios. Did you get to meet Keith when he was here? I didn't, unfortunately. Yeah, me too. Me too. I wanted to as well. I'd imagine there was a big crowd of people who wanted to ask him everything <laughs> here in the office because we're all fabric mad anyway. Um, or the whole of the immediate media um, magazine team who work with Sewing Quarter as well from Simply Sewing and Love Patchwork and Quilt. Um, he is a complete and utter legend, of course, the man himself, Kay Fassett. Um, we have one of his um, books here as well, which is incredible. Um, this is going to be an opportunity. Now, has Hannah even hinted to you what we're doing? No, I know nothing. Right. OK, so I just get this through my earpiece then, which is amazing. Now, we're not going to make the graphic. We've made this as fair as we possibly can by not yet running any graphics. As soon as the graphics open, if you are watching us on our website at sewingquarter.com, the deal goes live straight away, as soon as the graphics appear here on television. Um, we expect at this price that, and I don't know what that price will be, that the entire stock, which is a fair few, but it doesn't, to me, it doesn't sound like a big number. When I heard what the stock was, it didn't sound like a big number to me when I know what a big deal that K Facet is in the fabric world. Joe, as you know, I was part of the original project team for launching the sewing quarter. So we started getting together over a year ago um, starting to plan what we would do and who we would like to work for. And I remember that in our, in our management meetings, one of the first names that came up in this world was obviously Joe Carter. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> Kay Fassett, everyone on the team was, we must get Kay involved in some way. We must have his fabric. We must have him if we can. Um, we, and of course, you know, Kay Fassett is based in, I guess he's based in America, I guess, isn't he? Um, um, but to have even his fabric here, I know, was, uh, was the result of six, nine months of intense negotiation, let me tell you, but we were determined 
that we would in some way feature Kay Fassett because he hadn't been anywhere else um, on television in the UK and we just wanted to have the god, if you like, of fabric. I mean, it, and it is true to say, isn't it, he is truly in this world, in the fabric world, he is like the beacon, isn't he? He is... Um his fabrics are so recognisable, his yeah. use of colour, his work is unmistakable. Yeah, it um, is, uh, honestly, it's, uh, it's astonishing. In this box, which I know that you're bursting for me to open, contains everything you need to create that iconic quilt. Can we have another quick look at that quilt again for me, please? Sorry, I just, it's, uh, to, to have had it in this studio, you know, fully completed, and and you completed it, Joe, didn't you? I may I've been making a mini version. That's not my. I can't uh, okay. take credit for that one. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> but it's beautiful. The colours are awesome, and do you know the, Do you know the thing? The thing about this kit as well. And Hannah and I were saying it this morning. The backing fabric on this quilt is some of the most amazing fabric it is. you will ever see. It is. It's and really you may cool. well want to back this quilt in another fabric that you have and then <laughs> completely spread your wings with the backing fabric. In this box, this means such a lot to our team here at Sewing Quarter because this box contains months and months and months of negotiation, teamwork, collaboration and to know that in this box we are looking at 249 pounds and 95 pence ordinarily if we were just simply rerunning the offer that we previously had this box would be yours at 249 pounds and 95 pence we are going to open the box now and we're going to put the graphics onto the screen right now. So if you are logged on live to our website right now, the deal we're about to do right now is exclusive to today. A regular price of 249.95. And after today, if there are any remaining, the price will be 249.95 again. But the special offer that we have for you today, exclusively at the sewing quarter, <gasps> no. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now, this is only today. How many people... The phone lines are already busy. If you have to wait, remember, we're paying for the call, but get through as quickly as you possibly can. We haven't even opened the box yet. But remember, this is where we're aiming to. This wonderful stripes galore, Kafe facet quilt. Now, remember, we have sold... And, and you, know, you have to be very, very careful what you say on television about previous price tags and everything else. But we have sold this previously. It was a couple of months ago. We have over 40 in baskets that need checking straight out because there isn't a second chance to do this at this kind of price tag. Now, there's something else that at 249.95, the last time we featured it, was not included because we are including... Um, there is this Cave Facet book being included as well. Now, the books that we've had from Cave before have been about his travels around the world and, and what he's found and how he's inspired for his new fabrics, etc., etc. This is actually a projects book. So it's the Little Patchwork Cushions and Pillows book. I will flick through that for you um, in a wee while. Can I just... Let me, let me, uh, it's just going absolutely crackers on the telephone line. So this is literally, this has come from our warehouse this morning and contains, in fact, what I'm going to do, let's just rest it on our trolley and we'll start bringing it out um, piece by piece. First of all, we have full, complete instruction. We've never done anything like this before. Instructions, anyway, listen, we don't want to look at instructions. We want to look at Cave's fabrics. So let's do it. Let's start getting these wonderful, amazing, incredible fabrics from Cave out for you to see. Now, this is the centre, isn't it, of, it the, is. of the front of the quilt. In fact, if we, if we do half and half, some? shall we? There you go, you have that. Look, look at that. And that's just the centre of the large quilt, isn't it? That is delicious. Um, in fact... Yes, in fact, let's go to the middle, we... Joe. Come with me, come okay. with me, come with me. Come on, camera one. Look, we're just going to show you the entirety of this. I mean, that feels like that would be the lion's share 
of a, of a double bed cupboard already, just for the beginning. And this is the binding as well, so you get this... When it's binding and it's quite slim, you, you yep. get the, all the detail, all these colours around the edge as well. It makes a beautiful frame for the quilt. That's incredible. Let's see on the finished one how that fits into the picture, um, because that, that really is, honestly, it is incredible. Right, now, I have to say, nearly three quarters of the entire stock has already been checked out. I have to show you the backing fabric. I have to show you the backing fabric. I feel duty-bound to show you this is the most spectacular backing fabric, I think, I have ever seen in any project whatsoever. It's huge. And again, let's let's just let's show you. Let's show and I'm so sorry we're making we're making a nightmare <laughs> for JR floor manager here, but look, look, and this just goes on and on and on and on and on. Should we go back to the middle again Should with we this, do that? Joe? Yes, come on. Because this is only half of it, isn't it? It is. This is, only, this is doubled over. Just be, just be aware that if you step back as far as you can, Joe, so we can stretch it right out. Look, that is huge. And that's only half of it, remember? Uh, this is, this is, yeah, this is folded in half. Look, 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 look. OK, right, we're going to unfold it, Joe. So let's... Are we going... <laughs> Honestly, yeah. look, oh. I mean, the size of our studio here... Sorry, Joe. I'm on look. toes. That's, I mean, we're, we're both, <laughs> neither of us are very tall at all. I could do with a ladder to stand on. But that's the entirety of that fabric. And this is just the backing fabric. What I would be saying to you right now um, is, do you know what? You would, you, you would want to use that fabric, wouldn't you? It's For a number of other projects as well. I mean, it's just the most deliciously beautiful fabric. And it's extra wide fabric so that you don't need to piece the back at all it's just yes. one continual piece that's right so you um, just um, we have people multi-buying this bundle as well um surprise surprise i'm not at all surprised um it is just delicious we haven't even show, um, start or finished showing you the 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 multitude of the fabric that comes in this selection so that's the middle of the front we've got those two striped ones and there are more as well i don't know whether can you see from above there just how many different fabrics there are so that's so that's one, two, three, four. And here's, is, oh my words, look at that. Now, again, this one here with the lovely, it's almost rhubarb and custard and lovely fountain in ink blue, but it's tonal blue as well, isn't it? There it are is. different tones of blue going all of the way through that. That's honestly incredible. Look at your saving today, by the way. You're saving against the previous price. And of course, you have all of the wadding um, included there as well. Look, look at that. You have got that huge, huge, huge. Um, it's like, I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. I don't know what the dimensions of it are, but it's enough. It's more than enough, let me tell you. Um, all of that for, let's just show you the previous price again, because I think it's worth you knowing. So, remember today, um, the, um, the, was the book included before in the bundle? No, it wasn't. We've never bundled it with the book. So the book is absolutely free. So here's the bundle price previously then for you. Oh, no, we can't. Um, so originally, OK, originally, £249.95 was the price that this bundle was sold. It has never, ever been at the price that it is today. So let's show you the, um, the savings then, shall we? So your bundle price there today, £175.95. And it is worth actually go just reading through those details for a second before we flick off them. So you have got the complete um, kit. So it's 71 inches by 83 inches, which is, well, you know, in, in language that we kind of understand, nearly two metres by over two metres, uh, which is brilliant. So the wadding, the backing fabric, the backing fabric is... Uh, do you know what uh, all of us say? The backing fabric is just too good to merely sit on the back of this incredible creation. Use it for other projects, I would say, personally. It's up to you completely, but the multitude of different things you could make with just the backing fabric. In fact, where is the backing fabric? Where's it gone? I gave uh, it to Jay. We'll get it, we'll get it back. We'll get it back. Um, it's saving £92.95 against the price... That, and again... Sorry, I just have to be very, very clear about this because it's very important that we say the right things on TV. This was genuinely, this bundle was genuinely, genuinely sold in quite a large number. Uh, uh, what, do we know which date it was? It was sold on the 10th of August this year. 
with CAIF at 249.95. We also had another show on the 27th of August where again this bundle sold at 249.95. So the 10th of August, the 27th of August, just to be clear because we have to be completely transparent in terms of legality and what we say. Um, you can go back to our YouTube stream to so go and find Sewing Quarter on YouTube, go back to the videos for the 8th um, sorry, the 10th of August and the 27th of August, and you will find this exact same bundle being sold at that higher price at 249.95. This is only for today for the remainder of our stock. We are looking at 175.95. Any remaining stock, it's no way. There is no way there'll be one left, let me tell you. But if, there, if by any chance there were one or two of these bundles remaining tonight, at midnight, on the stroke of midnight, bong, the price goes back to where it should be. At, that's what happens, you know. There's no big bang bongs anymore, but somewhere in immediate media, a switch will flick at exactly midnight and go bong, and the price will go bong up to 249.95. I, I, I know we shouldn't do this again because we've just had Jay completely and utterly, and I'm so sorry to do it, but, and we will do some sewing, Joe, in a moment, because we we haven't got you here for the hour just to hold some fabric. But, I'm quite enjoying But it. just look, and this is, this is what? This is half of it, isn't it? Just it to show you, and we'll stand as far apart from each other as we can. You keep, if you go that way as far um, as you can, okay. Joe, we'll stay in this shot. Um, and look, and that's just half, that's just half of the backing fabric. That blows my mind, Joe, completely and utterly. It does. For an extra wide fabric, you just yes. don't get this sort of choice of prints. They're often you know, sort of very basic prints. I mean, this is amazing, isn't it? When we say extra wide, um, Hannah, on this one, how wide is it? We'll find out. We'll find out. Um, but it is, well, it's very wide, isn't it? <laughs> we'll maybe get someone to measure it. Well, maybe that's what we'll do. Hello, someone. <laughs> Have you got a measure? Uh, we'll measure it in a wee while. Right, Joe, should we do a little bit, while the last few of these, I mean, because it's, it's seriously, this is going today. It's as simple as that. It's bonkers. Can I show you the book that comes with this for free? Very, very quickly. Um, this is one of, um, we, we have had a lot of Cave books, books here, actually, and a lot of them are about him and his travels. And we're, oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's funny that we open on that, because I also appear uh, on our sister channel, Jewellery Maker, and Malachite is actually a very, 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 very popular gemstone. And, and in nature, it's, it's striped different shades of green. Um, and that, that is truly beautiful, actually. And there are lots and lots of projects in this book. It's amazing. So quite often when you see a K facet book, it is him and his travels around the world where he picks up his inspiration and they are pretty pictures, yes. Um, but maybe lighter on projects. They're, they're more about inspiration. Um, this, look, it's a project book and it comes for free. What's its price alone? Because on the back cover, I've got a dollar's price. But I think this book is twelve ninety five on its own, is it? I think. Yes. Well, if we were in America, look, nearly $22. <laughs> So the twelve ninety five is even good if you convert the dollars into pounds. Right, should we give Jay the backing Should fabric then okay. to um, to see whether he can measure it? Um, how many are left, Hannah? No way. No way. It's around about eighty percent of the stock has sold out and gone. We are down to the last fifteen. Fifteen opportunities, not fifty. This is not an opportunity that you can miss out on. Right, Joe, let's get started, because uh, by the time we get started, uh, you know it's going to be gone. Yes. What, what are we going to see? A bit of everything. OK. I'll, is that all right? Yeah, I like Just... a little bit of everything. Why not? I'll start with... It's... Shall, Shall I get, get these the out of the way for you? The instructions are brilliant. And each of the fabrics are labelled A, B, C... D and E. That's the middle of the front panel, by the way. It's just, I mean, that's just awesome. So that actually, that looks like a patchwork, but it's already it kind of done for you, isn't it? Which is wonderful. Let me just put all of those down there for a second, just so we can keep them in view, because they are awesome. <laughs> Seriously. And are the instructions nice and clear, Joe? Really this? clear, really well done. And especially if this is your first quilt or one of your first quilts, 
really well laid out and it's it's a really great beginner project Fabulous. if you're a more experienced quilter it's where you could go to town on the, your quilting design and things right. like that yes yeah, so you could actually elaborate on the quilting itself yes cool right yeah. So I get the instructions. It's and nearly, I'll... it's nearly sold out, by the way. So please just get them checked out as quickly as you can. Just a reminder: you are saving the lion's share of hundred pounds today against a price that people um, that we have shown twice on air previously, once with Cave here and, and on another show subsequent to that, with that two hundred and forty nine ninety five price tag. Today you are saving. Look, you can see the lion's share there of £100, which is great. You are also getting today the Kaif Facet uh, uh, Brilliant Little Patchwork Cushions and Pillows book today, which alone has a cover price of £12.95, uh, which is amazing. So it's uh, basically ridiculous. Um, single figures now. Single figures now. Please be quick. Sorry, Joe. OK. So excited. Well, <laughs> if I don't get to go through much, yeah. the instructions are okay. brilliant. Really brilliant. good. All the cutting instructions, each of the fabrics are assigned a letter and they're, re they're each distinctive so you know which one's which. Yes. It's not, yeah. You don't have trouble working out which yeah. is which. So that's C and that's D and that's B. We've got it all sorted. And it, That backing. <gasps> Honestly, that backing. I love it. Is, are we making... Is it 108 inches wide? Is that what we're... Oh, maybe that's, <laughs> maybe that's what it is. I don't know. We'll find Jay, out. Jay can confirm. Can't we'll we? find out, yeah, yeah. Um, these ones, these sort of batik fabrics, what's lovely about the quilt is the different textures of the fabrics. There's, within this range, mm. I mean, this one is just super soft. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And it, it handles slightly different. These have got a little bit more structure and firmness to them. Yeah. Um, but it does give... I mean, oh, Joe, I'm so sorry. It's going to be one of those hours when I'm... Well, we are, we are going to have plenty of time, actually, which is, which is really, really good, because... Um, we are going to have plenty of time to, to demo and to see more of this, but I have to say to you, if everyone that has this in a web basket checks out now, it's over. That's it. It's over. It's what an amazing... Can I just say, can, can I get the names of people, please, Hannah? Because I, I, I really want... I really want to celebrate with you. Here it is. Um, yeah, I've got it here. I really want to celebrate with you this morning. I'm so sorry, Joe. Oh, no problem. Um, but, and I'm just going to pick a few names at random and just say, you know, well done, you. Absolutely well done. Maybe you've been waiting. Maybe you've seen um, this very quilt a couple of times before um, and you've, you've seen it. Maybe you saw it when Kaif was here and thought, I would love to have that. I would love to have that. But maybe you couldn't quite justify the 24995 spend, which for a Kaif facet project is... You know, it's, a, it's a, a drip in the pond, actually, because, you, you know, once you get into the world of Kaif and his fabrics, um, you'll love it. Honestly, it's one of those, it's one of those kind of, um, we say it quite often in the cruise industry, once you're booked, you're hooked. And I think in the fabric world, I think this is very much the way. Once you, you have your first piece of Kaif fabric, it's almost like liberty, isn't it? It's almost like you it do fall in love. Um, and then you'll want, you'll get very, very enthusiastic and want to have more in the range. I mean, I think actually, do you know what? Even if you weren't making um, the quilt project itself, let's just set the quilt and the instructions aside for one second. If you just had this selection of cave fabrics in your life, and of course that incredible backing fabric as well, which we haven't got in here at the moment because it's being measured. Um, if you just had this selection with its, you know, cavalcade of colours, you would be more than joyed, wouldn't you? You would. Um, congratulations to, and I'm just picking some names, I can't read all of them, because we had quite a large stock of this, let me tell you, we're all, we're all a bit bamboozled as to how it's gone so quickly. Um, OK, I, I do have to tell you, though, if you do, the, do have this in a web basket, for every one that we have in a web basket, we've got three or four people after it. And it needs to all be finalised today, preferably within the hour. And I, I never nag about these kind of things, uh, uh, but I just want to make sure if you want it, then checking it out is the only way of being secure. I'm so sorry, because, because we never do an offer like this. I'm so, I feel so lucky myself. Here I am, Mr Fillin. I'm, I'm neither John nor Natasha nor lovely Amy. In fact, it was, it was, it was me who recruited Amy into our business and found a superstar there. Um, and they call me when everybody else is busy. Everybody else <laughs> is busy. And I'm, I love doing it. I love being here. But I just feel it's such an honour to be here when I watched the cave show, 
uh, with Natasha, and I found it absolutely fascinating. I'd never, I'd never heard him speak before then. I'd seen pictures of him, and I'd seen samples of his fabric when we were meeting over a year ago in terms of starting this channel. Um, uh, honestly, this is the kind of picture I want. Is our lovely Tash with the man himself. And he is such an inspiration, and he is actually... Um, he is very, um, he's a very real man as well, isn't he? Yes. He's not um, what you would describe a, a, as a kind of, as an arty-farty kind of in, individual. He's very down to earth. He says it how, it how it is. He breaks some conventions. He breaks some rules and he does it with such fabulous splendour. Um, he's created this amazing world. Anyway, sorry, I will get to read some names out in a second. <sighs> right. I'm sorry, I'm just being reminded again. These need checking out. These need checking out. OK, I have to take the graphics off the screen. I'm so sorry. I've got over 30 people for one chance now. It needs... It needs so whoever it is between... And I've got some of the names here that have it in baskets. And I'm, and I'm not pointing in any direction. Um, Shirley, Janie, Sally, Linda, Susan, Jackie, Maria, Patricia, you've all got it in your basket, but not one of you are safe until one of you decides to cash in. Number six, please. Um, Helen in Derbyshire, absolutely safe. You've got yours. Well done. Carol in Staffordshire, Muriel in East Yorkshire. Well done. Maureen in Somerset, Reva in Hertfordshire, Jan in Wiltshire, William in the West Midlands, Theresa in East Yorkshire, Doreen in Greater Manchester, Eleanor in West Yorkshire. I've never seen so many names here at the sewing court. I mean, they just go on and on and on. Karen in Leicestershire, Lorraine in the West Midlands, Jacqueline in Northamptonshire. OK, remove the graphics. We have to. We have to take the graphics off screen. I'm so sorry. Well done. Well done. Well done. I'm so... Honestly, I feel really emotional, actually, that all of those have gone so, so quickly. Right, Joe. that leaves us with bags of time now. OK. Um, for those people who have got that, um, well done. Congratulations. Now we can go into a little bit more... A little a bit, bit more, more detail. detail. Yeah, I could almost take a deck chair now and enjoy <laughs> the rest of the hour. So, go, just go right back to the beginning, what you were saying in terms of um, instructions. The quilt top is made almost like a giant block. Yeah. Almost. So, you start with the centre and add strips to the sides yeah. and then the tops and then the sides and the tops and build it up okay. that way. Yeah. Um, so, we have the cutting list. And straighten up the edge of your fabric first to make sure you're working off a nice straight edge so yep. that, I mean, the stripes, they're not, you know, you don't have to be absolutely perfect, but you want to yep. keep some of the, the direction in there. So cut all the strips out and then I would advise labelling them. I often will just pop a pin through with a note saying fabric A and what size the strip is. Yeah, and that's not unique to you No, either. no, 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 that's um, not my... Janice was here yesterday and she was doing exactly the same thing uh, on, a, on a bag project and just marking them up. Because you do get confused sometimes. You think, OK, where have I got to? Yes. What have I done? Because actually, even with the, the simplest of diagrams like, like this is on, the, on the, uh, the actual instructions, you can still think, mm, now, did I cut the right amount of those? Yes. The right size. And you don't want to start sewing one on and realise it's the wrong size. Or the and wrong fabric. Yes. Mm. And if you're midway through and the phone goes or you're called away to the yeah. door, yeah. you want to be able to come back and say, right, that's where I'm up to, this is what I need, it's all there. Cordio. Right. Right, so I have... Is the backing fabric coming back, by the way? Sorry, I... I oh, it's, it's coming back. It's coming back. Yes. If you have got the kit, the backing fabric... <gasps> 278 centimetres by 228 in one single piece. Oh, sorry, 225 in one piece. That's enormous. That is extra wide, isn't it? And I'm so sorry for those people who... who and I know, cruel. Take, take that picture away now. <laughs> it's tempting, um, people. It's, it is tempting. I'm afraid it has completely and utterly... Um, sold out and gone. No, 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 we, 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 we enjoy looking at it. You can bring it back. It's wonderful. Open the door. Open the door again. There you go. Lovely. Fabulous. Sorry, Joe. Okay. Right, I will really shut up this time, I promise. So that's the central section. And yep. I've joined two of the strips along either side. OK, right, yeah. And then... So this is almost like that sort of um, 
it's like a, uh, I don't want to say melange, it's almost like a, a little bit of a sort of tie-dye appearance, isn't it? But it's very, it almost like brush strokes going across. It's incredible. Is it litmus paper as well, where you test yes, these? It's got that right, sort of yes. feel to it. Litmus paper. That's taken me back to chemistry <laughs> lessons of long time ago. Oh, actually, you stay there, Joe, and do what you're doing. I'm going to grab the elephant. Because for those people who are... I can't believe we left this until 11 o'clock, can you? How, how much of a tease is this? Just as a little bit of a preview for 11 o'clock. Sorry, I know I'm breaking all the rules here. Um, but look... And we need a name for the elephant as well, so start getting your suggestions through right now. Is it him or is it her? Um, Joe hasn't decided either. Um, so we need a name for our studio elephant, and you can buy the kit for this exclusive launch at 11 o'clock this morning here on the sewing quarter. We'll just put him, her there. Is it him or her, do you think? What do you think? What were you thinking when I, you made? I would have thought of him, but... OK. I don't know. Well, I've said this before. A small child once told me that if it has eyelashes... It's a girl. So anything that doesn't have eyelashes is oh. therefore a boy. <laughs> That's a good rule of thumb for animals, isn't it? Yeah. And I, I have learned not to argue with children. No, if there's they no say point. something no. really no. and they really mean it, I'd go with it. Oh yeah, because the determination <laughs> that they will hold that view with. Oh yes. It's not based in logic. It's not, you know, it's not like us old duffers who've had years and years to learn everything. Actually and literally, <laughs> child's world is completely different. And long may it be so. Now, because these are quite long pieces that have been joined. Yeah. And because the fabrics are, they're different fabrics, this, there, some stretching can occur when you sew. So I would recommend to pin it. Yes. And you don't want, if there's some left over, you, you do, if they're cut to size, mm -hmm. they fit, you want to line them up so that no stretching, the fabric will lie evenly, it's pinned in place. Yeah and no stretching has occurred all the way along. So I would, whereas I'm not a big user of pins, yeah. something like this, I absolutely would, because you want right. it to fit. But exactly. you're quite gentle with the fabric. You're not sort of, you know, yeah. moving it around too much. There we go. Love it. And this is the technique really for piecing the whole quilt top. Mm -hmm. It's just add your strips and then sew them on. So I'll add this one and then I'll move on because I have a shrunken... A shrunken because I've mm -hmm. <laughs> reduced the size. Mm -hmm. I've not put it in a hot wash or anything. No, no, no. I, I don't know if you'd ever want to, though, either, would you? That's the thing. It's... Mm. Well, they, I, I love a freshly washed quilt yes. because it has that sort of crinkle. Yeah, yes. Oh, do you, when you, you, know, like, you know like Bake Off where they're all watching their ovens? Yes. Do you know what I mean? Intensely. They're sat cross-legged on the floor looking through the window of the oven. Wouldn't you be the same with the washing machine with this in there? Uh, yes. You so would, wouldn't you? Just to make sure. Because you know sometimes you, you think you've put your oven on at one temperature and actually either you haven't turned the oven on at all or it's whacked up too high. I would just... If any sign of colour in that water, I'd be like, stop <laughs> everything! <laughs> Sorry, Joe. I'm wittering. I'm using, hang on, it's a quarter inch seam allowance, I've just realised. I have the quarter inch foot on, but the needle's not in the correct position. Ah. So I'm taking two generous. We've got some allowance. more CAFE books, books coming up in this uh, hour, by the way, including the new one. And if you like the idea of that projects book that we showed, which came with the bundle, which is well and truly sold out, I'm afraid, um, the book is available in small number on its own. We're just trying to sort that out um, at the moment. Yeah. Honestly, we had we had the top brass of immediate media involved they? in that. It's such a bargain, though. It, it is. I, I, I don't know who's allowed it and why. I it's know. almost like you would only do that kind of thing in a closing down sale, and we are far from closing <laughs> down, let me tell you. We've only just started, haven't we, Joe? We have. Do you remember your first test show? <laughs> I'll never forget it. Great, wasn't it? Last thing at night, wasn't it? It was. It was great fun. We loved it. Remember, we had a little practice upstairs first, <laughs> didn't we? Uh, we did, trying to get our timings. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then, uh, funny enough, half an hour in rehearsals turns into, like, two minutes in reality, doesn't it? it when you said the time will go by, yeah. and I couldn't believe it when... Because I, I'm sure I finished the project in the rehearsal. Yeah. <laughs> I got nowhere near. Yeah. 
happy days. It's a really lovely, relaxing. See, I love this sort of piecing where you can just enjoy the sewing and. Yeah, and it's relax. really, really happy, inspiring fabric as well, isn't it? It is. I mean, cave fabric always is, I and mean, it's so vibrant yeah. and it's joyful. I think the sort of the colours he uses. It's like his signature is on every piece of fabric, isn't it? It is. It's unmistakable. And, and the thing is, actually, I mean, I, I don't know, uh, maybe I'm wrong, because we're all living in a fabric world here, but I wonder, out there in the... Uh, yeah, we're living in a material world. <laughs> and you are a material girl, Jo. <laughs> um, but I think out there in the real world, I think probably his name isn't necessarily known, his style of fabric isn't necessarily known, because it's not really out there. It's not like you can walk into... Debenhams, Marks and Spencers, John Lewis, and pick up a K facet quilt, is it, or a, a duvet cover, or, or, or whatever? Um, you know, he's he's well known within the within the fabric world, which lucky us. So I think yes, let's see him again. Here he is. Fantastic! It's just a legend, isn't he? Yes. Just a legend, and but neither of us got to meet him, Joe. No, That's no. rubbish, isn't it? We'll have him back soon, though. I'm sure. I'm sure. Lucky Tash. That Tash is at the um, the live theatres today, isn't she? Uh, down at the uh, Great British Sewing Bee, which I'm sorry we've kept you away from today, Jo. My mum and my sister are there today. Are they? They are. So they can tell you how good it is. I'm hoping they might, you know, bring me something back. I'm sure. I'm sure there'll be a bit of fabric winding its way. There must be. Yeah. So then, carry on in this way, adding the strips. Mm -hmm. And they're all cut to size. So we're working our way out from the centre. From the centre yeah. out. Mm -hmm. And very quickly, I love when you can see a project where it's going, how it's going to end up sort of yes. as you're making it. And you do, you get a real clear idea of how it's going to look and where it's going. Yeah. Colour is just delicious. I mean, it's amazing. I mean even, even if you stopped there, let's just hold that up and show everybody. Even if you just stopped there, you know, with that, and made a lovely wall hanging of that, I mean, that, that in itself would be incredible. I, I know Joe's, Joe's looking as if to say, no, 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 it's a quilt. I want, to, I want oh, the I joy know. and the pleasure of making it all the way through as the quilt. Can we just have a look as well, just for the benefit of those people who have got this kit, just at the spread of different fabrics that you actually have in that kit. And I can now add the backing fabric to, to that as well. I don't know whether you can get a, a, a view of all of those, Mike, maybe. Um, but if you're lucky enough to have the, the bundle, this, and, and, it's, and I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it one more time because it will become irritating otherwise, um, but this fabric here is the backing fabric for your quilt. It's beautiful. It's like... And I, I would not be backing my quilt in this fabric. I would be saying, you know what, I will find a, a lovely... We had a Vienna orange Macau solid yesterday that went with another bundle and I'd say, you know what, give me metres and metres of that and I'll back my, cave, um, my quilt with that. Um, but... See, I like to but fold a quilt back. Oh, so yes. Halfway, so you, you can see the backing fabric as yeah, well. Yeah, I know, but it's just such a lot of fabric it, to, to, to have on the back. It's too good. Um, right, now, in the bundle, we gave, um, to those people who made that, nearly £100 saving. Ridiculous. And I'm sorry, I'll stop talking about it because it had long sold out and gone. But this was in that bundle. But we have a small number available, very, very small number available, of the book available on its own. Actually, it's 18.95. Now that's inter no, that's interesting to know because actually, sorry, I gave you some wrong information earlier in so much as I said that its cover price was um, 12.95. It's actually 18.95, which would make sense because of the dollars price I was talking about on the um, on the cover here. Um, and this is full of projects. So if you want just the book on its own, and I will just take you on a little journey through the book um, as well. Oh, now, now it might take a little while to get hold of uh, of this in the future, as well, because obviously a huge number went with the bundle because we were giving you one away. I love that malachite cushion. Beautiful. That amazing. Um, how many do we have, Hannah? Oh, when you said limited, you really did mean limited. Then uh, we're in single figures already, <laughs> because most of it went into the bundle. Um, we have 
single figures available at 1895. Okay, so just a quick flash of that then, and, and it will be um, completely and utterly sold out and gone before we know it. That's a brilliant book as well, actually, by the way. Really, really vibrant. Lots and lots of inspiration. Uh, and you will be looking for more K fabrics once you get the book, definitely. Um, don't forget, don't forget, sorry, I've just got to show you. Let's call it a fella, shall we? Are there ideas and suggestions coming through from the name already? Yeah, we're having, we're having a little... Uh, we could call him Cave the Elephant, couldn't we? That might be a little obvious in this hour, but if you've got any ideas for a name for the little cheeky chappy, at 11 o'clock, we do the launch of the kit for the uh, elephant. Beautiful. Um, OK, last few of the book, by the way, £18.95. Right, sorry, Joe. I keep okay. promising I'm going to shut up, and they're not doing it, so... The instructions, even after you've added a strip or a yeah. pair... Mm -hmm press the seams, and I think you press them away from the centre. I think that's what it says. But okay. it, even that detail's added in the instructions. Yep. And I made, last time I was on with this, I made a shrunken down version mm -hmm. of the finished quilt. So I used the same, same fabrics for the centre yes. and then added So you just scaled it down. Yep. But you could, I mean, the feel between the fabrics is lovely. And I started to quilt... And I was showing, that time I was showing about basting, so with the backing fabric. Oh. Ooh. Good prep. Oh, now, hang on a second. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. So, where, where you do the thing. No, no, if you go... Look, where... See, if we see the two together again, Mike, um, with the front and the back from, from up above, with Joe just describing before how she'd make the quilt complete, but then she likes to turn back. What do you think now, Hannah? That really does look good, doesn't it? It's the contrast, I think, between the geometric sort of yes. the stripes and then the big floral. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to take a lot of persuading for me to sacrifice that backing fabric. Anyway, listen, it's not about me. So. So I... When making the quilt sandwich, I, if I'm, I do it on the floor in our living room and move all the furniture back, give the backing a good press... I tape it to the floor with masking tape. Right. Just keep it really taut, yes. nice, no wrinkles at all. Right. Then layer your batting. Yeah. And then your quilt top mm -hmm. over the top. Mm -hmm. um, for this one, I used curved safety pins and pin basted it together. OK. And then started in the centre, just with this one, for speed. And actually, I really like the organic feel of... It's great. It's got a lovely texture, lines. isn't it? So it started from the centre. I just worked out to this side mm -hmm. and then... What do the instructions that suggest? Do they, do they suggest kind of once you get to the quilting, it's your decision? It's a quilt as, as desired. I yeah. mean, hand quilting would look beautiful on this as well. Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. So you can just be as, uh, as imaginative as you want to be um, with this. Can you... I don't know whether this is a silly question because of the sheer size of it, but could you hand quilt it or is it just... You could. It needs to be machine. Some people will always hand quilt and that's the way they like to mm -hmm. do. I'm, I'm a bit impatient for hand quilting, although <laughs> I would like to have a long-term project that I do a bit of at a time. Yes. But I think either hand quilting or machine quilting, I think it's beautiful. That's another thing, actually, about the overall project, just for the benefit of the people that have got the bundle. In terms of the amount of time that this will take, are we talking about you know, weeks and weeks and weeks. Are we talking about a long-term project or something that you could actually, you know, you know, crack on for a weekend and... You could do... I think you could get the quilt top done in a weekend mm -hmm. quite comfortably. Mm -hmm. So piece the front, the yeah. top part. Yes. But then basting takes a couple of hours, depending on your method, or it yeah. takes me a couple of hours anyway. Yeah. And then the quilting takes as long as you'd like it to take, depending on the design... Hand quilting, do it over a couple of months, if not longer. And you start your quilting always from the inside and then work always your way out? from the centre outwards. OK. Um, Are you going to have a little quilt? Should I have a little quilt? Why I'll, not? I'll pop up the walking foot on. Why not? Oh, sorry. No, I was <laughs> midway through, but always... Easy enough. Always. Also, this was made from the left... All the pieces for a quilt top yeah. were cut out. This was made from the leftovers, and there are lots... Oh, really? Uh, leftover pieces, so yeah. you could easily make a couple of cushions yeah. to go with it. And, or... and the batting um, that you get in that bundle as well, if you were lucky enough, 
um, is oodles. I mean, it just goes, I will just show you the whole stack just for a second. I mean, that's, that's the stack of um, batting, wadding um, that you actually get with that, um, that bundle. Do we, do we have that on its own ordinarily, uh, Hannah? Ah, this is specific. This is specific to the CAFE um, project, that one. But we will have um, other wadding available on our website as well. On the uh, mini projects book, which is the one you can see over there, we have the huge number of two remaining. Two remaining. But well, that book's great because you could use... Sorry. Um, <laughs> can it's you right. hear me over the sound? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because you could make a project from that book with the yes, leftovers from the book. with the remainder, book. yeah. Or you could not back your quilt in the backing room. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I think I would, just, I would just be like that. But I have to say, now seeing your finished version, mini version, I'm now torn. I, I mean, I love the contrast. But it, it, it is a shame that it's on the back. I'd want to make the most fabulous kind of blind out of the backing fabric. Do you know what I mean? That would look great. I mean, you can imagine. I mean, it, 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 oh, I, I, would, I, I was just about to say the bathroom, then I thought, no way, no way, far too. Far too prestige to put in the bathroom. But I think, you know what, if, if maybe you have a room, it might be a conservatory or something like that, which just is quite generally a bit um, muted. Yes. And you wanted to bring it to life a little bit. Again, you'd back that in the same kind of way anyway, wouldn't you? Um, and quilt it as well if you wanted to, if you had that kind of skill. Um, but that backing fabric is extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. Love it. It is. It's just... I mean... Oh, all case things. It's just so sunny, so bright. Mm. It really gives yeah. Love everywhere it. a lift. It's adorable. Thank you so much for your company this morning. There's so many people getting in touch, and, and there are lots of people getting in touch as well. Um, and I'm sure I will read on social media later. I missed it, I missed it, I missed it. I'm mad with them because I've missed it, and I'm so sorry. But we did have... Just, just be reassured... Um, I, I, well, actually, isn't that funny? Almost like I read the mind of um, Pam in Northwich. Hello, Pam. Who's just sent in a, a message via the web saying, I so wish I had bought this quilt project gutted. Oh, sorry, Pam. Gutted. There were lots of O's in the word so there. <laughs> um, Pam, thanks for the kiss on the bottom, on the message. Um, you can get in touch as well via the uh, website at sewingquarter.com. Um, or, of course, you can email. Email, yes. If you've got any cave pieces, by the way, that you've made, we'd love to see them. Um, please do get in touch. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. I like a kiss on the bottom of the messages that you send through. It's very nice. It's very kind of you. We're all a lovely, happy family. Sewing quarter viewers are the best. They are. So, you are. They are so nice. You're amazing. You're so kind. Love it. So, is there anything you came across um, when you were making this that, that you kind of think, oh, you should know this if you're making this? Any, any specific pointers? Or are the instructions so good that you kind of... The instructions are really just good, follow really it and comprehensive. Go. Mm. I'll stop there. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. And, and again, I'll just, I will just show you the instructions. Sorry, I'm just having a little look myself there. But they are very, very simple. It's just two pages of instructions because your cave's on the back and the quilt's on the front. So it's just two pages and that's it. Which you would think for such a big project, you'd think, well, you feel like you'd need more instruction than that, but clearly not. I like that the pictures as well are in the fabric, so... Yeah. You've got that... There's no second guessing. No. Yeah. There's no double checking needed. You can see you've got that visual yeah. sort of representation. So, I love that texture. I know, I know I keep it's great, isn't it? Doing this. You just, it's just, yeah. It's, just, it's uh, the combination, I love it. And then from here, it's, it would be a case of squaring the quilt up. Obviously, the full size one yeah. would be quite, mm -hmm. a, quite a bit more. Yes. I mean, when I'm doing a corner, I like to use two, quilt, uh, two rulers together just so I've got that extra length just to make sure that my the corners whole thing. are. Yeah. Square. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't usually get to this part on the quilting project, so this know, is quite I... interesting. Yes, well, should let's, let's it do it, shall we? There we go. It's 
quite because you can use the guide on the ruler as well just to make sure that your stripes line up as well yes and always give it a little bit of a move about just here and there just to make sure it's there we go I really like this part of the quilt. This and is like the trim big, away. This is like the big reveal, isn't it? This is like bagging out when you make the bag, isn't it? It is. And always leave a good um, extra bit of backing and wadding. I mean, I do three or four inches mm -hmm. all around mm -hmm. um, because I have come a cropper like that before and not... Yeah. The fabric's shifted about during... During the make. During quilting yeah. and then... It yeah, because the, the, the tension of the stitches sometimes will naturally draw and, and move things around anyway, won't it? It will. I'll do this end because that one's still got pins in it. I might be tempted to finish that little bit off. <laughs> when I come off air? Just while Joe's doing this as well, remember, in Joe's second hour today, uh, we're launching the, uh, the brand new elephant kit, as we've been trailing for most of this week. Um, and we're looking for your suggestions for new toy animal projects for Joe to create. Did you know about this, Joe? I heard about this this morning. OK, right. Oh, that's all right, and then. I that's would... fine. <laughs> so it's Challenge Joe today, uh, and we're going to take the most popular. We're going to collect all of, the, um, all of the feedback that we get. So you can start emailing in about that now if you want to, studio at sewingquarter.com. Be interesting to see some of the suggestions while we're on the live show making the elephant um, at 11 o'clock. Can I say that anybody that requests an armadillo is off my Christmas card list? <laughs> <laughs> or um, cats and monkeys are really difficult oh, to do. Oh, Jay wanted a monkey, didn't oh, you, did Jay? He? Jay wanted a real monkey, he said. Because he's got the, um, you know, the hanging mon monkey with the long arm. Oh, well, that's that. Sorry, Jay, that's that out. Oh, well, never mind. So, well, no, that, if, if, come up with your that's suggestions. What want, but I would, um, it's an appeal to be kind to me. And yeah, don't... yeah, yeah. You have something with at least 16 legs, please. <laughs> a squid. Right. <laughs> octopus. Uh, I made an octopus. I made an octopus. They're octopus, not, is, not, that's too, very simple, actually, isn't it? Because that's bad. big round head, and then it's just lots of legs, isn't it, all it over is. the place? And it's nice you can put, elasticate the legs so they sort yeah. of spiral up a bit. Okay, so forget squid and octopus, they're too easy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say that's really difficult to everything then, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The binding strips are the same fabric as the centre. Okay. So it sort of... I can't think of the... Unifies. Yes, that's the word. Sort of well, unifies that's good for me on edge. a Saturday morning. <laughs> and the strips cut on... I'll move this out of the way. Instead of describing it, I'll do it. We've got about... How long have we got left? Oh! Have we got ages? Miles of time. Four whole minutes. Four minutes, no problem. So I like to... You can do straight edge, join the binding, but this way... ..the seam is more evenly distributed mm -hmm. and you don't get the bulk in the same way. If you want some quilts inspiration, by the way, just to, just to let you know while we're seeing this, brand new... I just remember, we've got to the end of the hour and I've forgotten to mention this. Uh, brand new K Facets Quilts in Ireland book. It's amazing. It's the latest one. There are um, 28 designs here. Um, we have seen it, I think, once or twice before here at Sewing Quarter, but it is his latest book. Um, £23.95, pence. really fabulous book. Um, really, really good price tag as well, let me tell you. Um, K Fan and his team all photographed on location in Western Ireland. Beautiful. So you get news of his travels there, um, which is wonderful. He was talking about this book, actually, when um, on the interview with, um, with Tash. Um, so it's quite actually... Um, this gets quite a, a mention in that. So if you get a chance to get to have a look at our YouTube stream from the 10th of um, August, when Kaif was here with um, Natasha, then do do that. Just doing this really quickly. OK. So... I've Join the strips, and um, for the full size quilt, you'll, 
it tells you how many strips to cut and yeah. you want to join them so you've got one long length. Ah, okay, right, yes, 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 yes. And then press these seams open. Yep. And then press the whole thing in half. Okay. And then if you're going to machine bind the whole thing, mm -hmm. you would sew onto the back first. Right. And then bring it round onto the front and yep. sew along the front. Yep. I always yep. like, and especially something like this, I would always hand sew the binding down mm -hmm, on the mm -hmm. back. Yeah. So whip stitch it around the back. Just so that you ensure perfection, really. Yes, and I like, especially when the weather gets to this stage, it's nice on your lap, keeps you nice and warm. You put a film on. Yeah. Oh, you've conjured up a lovely picture there, Jo. Any film in particular? Oh. Something like The Wizard of Oz, something that you don't really have to watch it and you can sing along something to Something you know well, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah, brilliant. So so that's on. Or a nice on. Disney film or something like that. Or if you had your fill of Disney films. Nothing wrong with them. We're not criticising them. But I, yes, I have a lot of... As a mum. Children's... Yeah. Yes. You've seen rather superhero. a lot. Superhero. Yeah. I can do that superheroes now yeah. for a bit. Yeah. So I would sew it onto the front and then whip stitch it round oh. onto the back. We've had an idea um, from Polly for the elephant. Oh. Oh, we're collecting the names. We'll talk about that at 11 o'clock. <sighs> Thank you very much. Uh, keep them coming in, studio at sewingquarter.com, or you can send them in via the website as well. Sorry, Hannah was actually talking to herself there, and I was just <laughs> listening, and I just thought I'd repeat some of it. There you go. I haven't got Hannah time. Hannah tends to do that. Um, so, yes, we've, do we've done the whole lot, Hannah. That's it, we've done the whole lot. We've bound it and everything. All sorted. Um, brilliant, well done. Now, everything is um, sold out completely of, obviously, the complete um, quilt kit, which is utterly and completely gone. The Quilts of Ireland book, which is this one here, which is um, Cave's uh, most recent book, uh, of his Adventures in Ireland, that's still available for you right now. The details are over there. And the Projects book, I think there was just one or two, was there, remaining? Two, literally, left. That's it. Joe. thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll see you in an hour with the as-yet-unnamed beautiful little girl, we think. Or boy. Let's see. Uh, see you in a second. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK based call centre. Alternatively there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter, and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. 
On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple program guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Welcome to Wonderland, my friends. It is our number, hang on, number one, two, this will be the third hour then, won't it? Already, already we're in the third hour, can you believe that? Um, Joe is back at 11 o'clock, uh, 11 o'clock of course, um, because we will be launching that uh, fabulous, fabulous as yet unnamed elephant kit. But we are back now with our Liberty Fabrics um, with Alice Caroline and Anna Saunders is here um, from Alice Caroline as well, which is brilliant. We already had a very, very busy hour in the first hour uh, this morning. This hour, we are going to be making, and I know this is, this is a quilt block, but what we're going to do uh, is we're going to be heading towards a cushion project, but what we're going to be doing is making raw edge applique uh, butterflies. So we have got the flutter cushion um, kit here, which has enough to make a 16 by 16 inch cushion, um, which is amazing. Obviously we've, we've done the butterflies onto a, onto a, um, a quilt block there. Um, the lion's share of the fabric. Now this is actually the backing fabric, isn't it? For the, um, for the cushion. Um, I'm going to say, I think probably the same thing I said about the cave, um, backing fabric. This is so delicious. I would want to have it on show definitely. Now, um, you know, the back of a cushion and the back of a quilt are two entirely different things, aren't they? So, but I would definitely be having that on show as much as possible. So you're getting lots in this. You're also getting your um, fabric strips here as well. Oh my word, look, look at the colours that we have. Now this is £27 and 50 pence and it is enough to make oh look at that that will be for the edge of the uh cushions then that one which is beautiful uh you also have these charms as well look 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 at the richness and the vibrancy of them just delicious and the delicacy of these fabrics is honestly they're like little line drawings aren't they they're so sweet and lots and lots of different colours. So if you're trying to key in with decor, it's very, very simple and very, very easy indeed. Amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, £27 and 50 pence. Amazing. Let me show you what we are heading towards. Now, the fabrics are slightly different um, in that um, quilt block um, than we have the fabrics for right here. But let me show you some of the, um, some of the larger pieces as well, because look 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 again this i'm obsessed with this this pattern today what anna does this pattern actually have a name in liberty yeah that's the uh caesar i think caesar i mean it's it's extraordinary or Hera. it's, either caesar or oh, it's Hera. this way around isn't it it's like a yeah, peacock yeah, yeah. feather isn't it yeah they're really popular i know I, I i love it seriously i i just adore it and again the same as the backing fabric you have you have pieces there and, and the great thing is the fine nature of the liberty fabric is such that I mean, look at that vibrancy through that. I mean, honestly, that's like wonderful sort of blueberries, isn't it? Incredible. Oh, and look, 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 look. He's very, very similar to my favorite again. Wonderful. Now, remember when we had our kits in the first hour this morning, they sold out so incredibly quickly, so please be as quick as you can. Now, I'm just going to recap something that we did in the first hour with, um, with um, Anna this morning, which is the market tote bag kit. Now, the reason I'm showing you this right now is because we have four kits remaining, four, massive amounts. Uh, most of them have sold out and gone. Um, you do get the, uh, the lion's share, of course, in this wonderful um, Iantha Liberty fabric. Uh, you get the three metres of the uh, hot pink strap there as well, um, plus the charm back, uh, pack included as well. It's just beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. And there are only, well, it'll be less than four by now, by the time I've, I've said all of that, uh, TLBY28 at just £19.95. In fact, that was the lowest price um, bundle from Alice Caroline today, actually. So that's the reason why it's been so, so popular. We also had our charm packs this morning, most of which have sold out and gone, let me tell you. We have a very, very small number of the, uh, the pink large um, charm pack. These are the five-inch squares. 
Um, the multi one sold out earlier on this morning. This is the, um, the pink one. So the only option that we have remaining in the five inch squares, or if you like it in new money, 13 centimetres. We are in single figures in availability there at £14.95. So make sure if you have that in your web basket right now, you check it out completely and utterly as quickly as you possibly can because time is running out. I know our head has been turned by Kaif in the last hour, uh, but now we're back to our Liberty Fabrics. Maybe you weren't around in the first hour. It is. You can... Listen, listen. You can hear the door of the Last Chance Saloon as swinging. Um, shall I show you the mini um, charm pack as well, which is the two and a half inch squares? There are 36 in this pack. Um, they are beautiful. We have wonderful, wonderful... Still got... Mm, I wouldn't say it was great stock, but we still have stock. Let's put it that way. Great for hexes for your projects, for your paper piecing. Look at the vibrancy again in the tones of the colours here. The florals are just amazing. I mean, look at that combination for a floral. You're just, you're just waiting for the bird of paradise to fly in, aren't you? There's my favourite again. Look, beautiful. Absolutely amazing. And if you know anyone that um, has a passion for fabrics and sewing, um, you know they will absolutely know Liberty completely and utterly inside out, won't they? What a lovely choice. And actually, you're replicating um, similar squares again and again, which is great if you are uh, building up uh, for a cushion. I forget the size of the, the cushion we can make with that charm pack, uh, but 10 inch square. Wow, 10 inch square in terms of uh, a patchwork if you're uh, using that charm pack at £9.95. Right, now the only thing I haven't shown you is a fabulous book, but I'll come back for you a little bit later because we need to go. I've been so excited all morning about... Hello again, Anna. Hi. <sighs> Brilliant. Honestly, today is just like a whirlwind, isn't it? I know, it? I've had a lovely sleep. We knew it would be. Did you have a good lie down? <laughs> yeah, well, I was watching Joe, actually. I think she's great. She is amazing. Yeah. She's wonderful. Lovely we love Joe. Um, and we love that elephant, and we've all fallen in love with it. Sweet. But that's, that's the next hour. Let's deal with this hour right now. OK, so, we're doing raw edge applique. Yeah. Please explain first. Yes, so, raw edge applique is a technique where you're using raw edges of the fabric. So, you know, in, in a lot of sewing, you would you would tuck in a seam allowance. Yes. We're not tucking in a seam allowance on this, so it's raw edges. OK. So this is this here, if you can see, is the raw edge of the fabric. Right. And what we're doing is we're going to bond it mm -hmm. to our quilt block here. Ah, OK, we're so we're, 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 we're mini one. ironing it to with a... With a fusing. Okay. I don't know what, what, what yes. brand you sell here, but okay. some kind of fusing. Leaseline, I think it is. Yeah. Yes, great. Wonderweb on the website. What, Wonderweb. Wonderweb, Wonderweb on the website. On the web. Go it's figure. It's all that wonder and wonderful Everything's and wonderful today. It Wonderland. Is. Oh, it's, it's a very nice feeling. Um, can I just ask? Yeah. Um, ju and it's just, it might be an idiot's question, but that's what I'm here for. You know what? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not as silly as I look. I couldn't possibly be. Um, <laughs> are there any vulnerabilities for the fabric? Big in, raw edge. in doing it this way? Well, I think it's really important to fuse it as well as to sew it. Right. Is the fine nature of the Liberty fabric more adept at this method? Yeah, though? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't fray a great deal, to be honest with you. Fantastic. Um, and as you can see, you know, the rainbow of, of butterflies just looks yeah. really lovely. Let's, I'll, I'll bring that The fabric, you've shown the fabrics. Think of the fabrics that you showed rather yes. than the fabrics on here. Yes. It'll give a very similar effect. They're all rainbows, so yep. going from purples and blues up to pinks and yellows and greens. Yep. Um, so it'll give the same effect. Yeah. Uh, In fact, what different. I'll do is, while you're working on that, I'm going to bring... I'll bring some of the selection from yeah. the charm packs over, yeah. just so we've got some there as a reference. The ones I've got here, the ones I'm using on my demonstration, are the ones from the pack. Right. But I'm only doing a mini version, because you okay. don't really want to see me raw edge applique. It takes a long time to raw edge applique all of those, which is why I haven't done another one. Um, and, and, and would we, because of the nature of the size and shape of a, a butterfly, um, are we cutting round them, or are we, are we um, rotary cuttering them? No, we wouldn't rotary cut. We'd use a pair of scissors. Well, you can do if you're, if you're super brilliant at rotary cutting. Yes. I would use a hand pair of scissors, mm -hmm. but then, you know, everybody works in very different ways, but you've, it, okay. each, each butterfly is, is very fine, you know, different in a different style. Just worth, worth saying that you need to, it's all in the instructions, but you need to mm -hmm. cut the big butterflies out of the big bits of fabric and the small butterflies right. out of the small bits of fabric. I, that would make sense, It I guess. would make yes. perfect sense. Okay, let's get Okay, so I've made there, a quilt block and I think Joe did this in the last hour. So you've got your mini quilt block. This isn't yes. the size. I'm just yeah. doing a mini version. Just the demo, yeah. So you've got your fabric on the top, which is in the kit. You've got your 
your um, your middle section, which you need to get. Yes. Um, and you've got your, your backing. And the wadding's on the website, the wadding's of course, on the website. if you want to get hold of that. I think it's great to have wadding in your sort of... Mm. In, your, in your library of Definitely. stuff anyway. And yeah. so what we're, right, what we're going to do, so I've drawn a, a butterfly onto your... Can you see that? It's quite difficult because it's, um, it's we might blue show, and blue. We might show Tom. There we go. Great. Oh, there you go and see so it. So I've yeah. drawn it onto the, onto the Visaline. Yes. Word. And then we're going Wonder to... Web. Wonder Web. Then we're going to iron it on. Bonder the Web. Fabric. Bonder uh, Web. Uh, could I have the iron? Yes, you can. Point? I keep changing Perfect. the name of it. Sorry, I misheard. I, it's Bonderweb. Bond, Bonderweb. Well, yes. this is what I'm using. I just, okay. just bit, I wasn't a bit sure what. That's you know, all fine. What, what we all know, have. don't we? Yes. So we're going to um, just iron that on with the uh, okay. bonding side down. Yes. Onto yes. our fabric, onto the wrong side of the fabric. Yes, because we don't have full size irons available on the website when uh, when it's stuck with uh, Bonderweb. <laughs> so it's great stuff, this. And then we're going to cut around. Other because... brands are available. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I was thinking back to? Repair of school trousers from, you know, <laughs> 1906. Yeah. Oh, I'm using my granny's old scissors here. Sorry, that's, sorry about squeaking. Oh, no, it's nice. But I love, I love that squeak. I can't quite bring myself to get rid of it. And they're still it really, going strong. Yeah, it reminds me of my granny. Which I think is really rather nice. Yes. No, We've all got lovely. something in our sewing stash or sewing things that can yes, have been passed down. down, haven't we? Yes, and if it's not in your sewing kit, it's in your kitchen. <laughs> you know, it might be one of old yeah, grandpa's yeah. old mixing bowls or a rolling pin or whatever, and exactly. you just can't bear to part with it, can you? Yeah, exactly. So it's quite it's quite good to be careful at this point. I cut him out neatly, because obviously you're not tucking in any corners. On the raw edge applique, you're, mm -hmm. you're just putting it straight onto the fabric. Mm -hmm. Sorry, can I wait up with the right angle for you to be able to see? Yeah, no, it's fine. We're, right. I think we're looking from. Uh, oh, we're looking at. I never at know. You. Okay. We're coming from above. Great. And, and the what side. I really like, and it was interesting what you were saying about the sort of the quality of the fabric and, mm. the, and the patterns. Mm. You do have to be a bit careful with Liberty Fabric because on some of those patterns. It's quite difficult to tell which is the right side and the wrong side. Yes, actually, I noticed when we, when we were <laughs> yeah. flicking through, because because of the fine nature, I've actually got the charms um, here, some of the smaller pieces here. Um, yeah, some of them are really vibrant and you can tell really easily. Yeah, because of the nature of, of the fabric, sometimes they're as vibrant on... I mean, that's actually the... the that, that's the wrong side, that's the right side, but it's not always immediately no. um, obvious. For, for a lighter shade like this one, um, you can see it's, it's fairly apparent, but there are some which almost look identical. Um, on both sides, they yeah. are they are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So you do have to be a bit careful. It's the lighter careful. pink ones, isn't it? Generally. Yes, I mean that one's quite. Yeah, nice. because that's. A, I mean, again, that's like a such a be... detailed line drawing, isn't it? Incredible. Um, these are um, the actual um, pieces from this kit, by the way. Yes, for they the, are. Um, for the ten inch by ten inch cushion, you get the white fabric um, as well. Yes, you do. So okay, we peel it off. Okay. I mean, lots of people will be familiar with how you use this. So you've got mm -hmm. the, and then we just iron it on here. And you can you can do this with all of them, and then you can place it on. You mm -hmm. could. It's quite an idea to to place them before you yes. before you do it, so that you get an even spread. So you do the do the all of the butterflies first, and then do a layout. Uh, that's what I would do. Okay. Because I think it's that's very you know patient, then you can. You? Isn't it? <laughs> oh, Not my sure husband I thinks wait. I'm such a patient person as well. <laughs> Not, to, Not, I think. Yeah. So we're ironing him on. Ah, now we're in the um, same position as we were um, this oh. morning in our first hour already. <laughs> You're um, not going to make me make 47 no, things no, in. No, 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 I promise. No, 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 not at all. But half, um, half the stock of this bundle has already sold out, just oh. so that you're aware. Anything with the Liberty Fabrics is always very, very popular. I, I can see why. If you are new to the to the Liberty Fabrics, I mean, honestly, the, the, the price tag that you have for the sheer amount of fabric in this um, kit, I wonder if um, actually it's worth, just for a second, uh, excuse me for a moment, just sort of taking over, but if I just lay out the entirety of the patterned fabrics that you actually have, um, and then we'll we'll see the rest, just so that you can see not just the different choices, but the sheer sizes. And remember, <laughs> that one's going to blend into that one because it's the same colour. But 
and you get a long so strip. So that's your binding yeah, fabric. Long strip of this one for your binding. Um, plus you have the smaller, almost sort of charm mm. size pieces. And there are lots and lots of different, you know, variations going on in here. And they really nicely key in. And again, this is rainbow, isn't it? Yeah. So what I think about Liberty Fabrics is that actually you could put any of the colours together. Yeah. And, and well, they I'm just not look putting fabulous. them in there in, in any kind of real order, no. and suddenly it all works together. It does, it does. And this one, it's worth talking about this one because this is an yeah. exclusive one oh. that you, the, the yellow, it's called June's Meadow. Right. We, um, at Alice Caroline, we created a whole exclusive range right. using the design team at Liberty. So you can't ah. get this anywhere else other than oh. us or you. Oh, really? So, yes. So, ah, right, OK. Yeah. Well, that's good to know, isn't it? We'll yeah. have a closer look at that and then we'll, and it's, we'll carry on. And it's on. just lovely. The detail in that is, is gorgeous. Fabulous. Right, let me just move those to one side for a second. In fact, let's have a look at this square here, because I've got a little square of it here. You obviously get a, a larger piece for the backing. That's amazing, isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? And again, Absolutely it's almost lovely. identical on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It is indeed. There you go. Lovely, lovely. It's just beautiful fabric. It's incredible. Sorry, I'm just flattening it out there for you. There you go. So we're going to go Amazing. for our Aurora Japlique now. Yes, this is right. The excitement that you've been waiting okay, for. Okay, now which foot are we using? I'm using a free motion quilter's foot. Okay. Cool. But if you don't have one of those, you can use a regular foot. Okay. But the, the free motion quilters foot, it does take some practice. So right. you would want to practice on a little on something scrap that doesn't of matter. Yeah. Scrap of yeah. fabric first. Yeah. With a similar sort of, you know, this quilt. This quilt block. Texture, yeah, so play around with some with a yeah. sandwich. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you have to drop the feed dog. Right. So you're completely in control of this. Okay. So I'm, be, I'm in control of the, the speed it goes through, mm -hmm. I'm in control of um, the direction, everything. Oh, now on the Elna, this is where we select tortoise, is it? Tortoise. Because we want not the needle to be moving. Definitely yeah, the not key hair. with this is to go really slowly. And if you yeah. go really slowly, it's, it's, it's a really therapeutic and a really. So more enjoyable. Is, is, well, it, if you go fast, you'll be like Whoa, all over the place. You, yeah. want, you want to keep, to keep to, as close to the edge as you possibly can. So here we go. And it's, it's, I sort of grab the edges of the quilt block. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Off we go. Oh. I'm afraid I have, I have no safety equipment, no rescue equipment available. No. <laughs> should, this, should this not go the way no, no, it no, was it's planned? Fine. I mean, you would, you would pick a blue to edge this so that yes. your, your lines don't come out. But we're going, you can see I'm going very slowly. And we're going as so close to the edge as possible. The, direction, the, the pace. Yeah. Direction, and, direction, and so I'm pulling a little bit through, yeah. trying each time to pull a similar bit through. And then I might stop when I get to a, an important bit. And it's very useful to keep your needle to go down so mm -hmm. that it always stays in, so that it stays in the same place. Right. So now I'm going to go... To change up. direction. Yep. Mm -hmm. it's, it's something that does... It, it, it requires a bit of practice because it's... I mean, I don't know if your viewers will be familiar with this. I'm, I'm guessing quite a lot of them will be. But you can see how slow I'm going. But it's quite fun because once you've mastered this technique, you can you can do anything. You can cut out any shape you want. Yes. And applique it onto anything, onto t-shirts, onto pillowcases for children, you know, letters for, for children's names. Yeah, I was just thinking, um, actually, I mean the butterflies are beautiful. And in and in that lovely what do we call multiple butterflies? Flock? I don't know. Gaggle? We probably don't call them anything because they don't really fly in. What's the what's the term? For butterflies, gathering, okay. parliament, parliament's bats, isn't it? I think. Oh, I like that. You're a knowledgeable man. I think parliament's bats. Oh, I'm quite good to uh, take to the pub quiz with you. Are you? Yeah. What's just your have special random subject? Bats. Now, Director Mike is just on the case right now. Oh, is he? My extensive research team. You'll never guess what the answer is, um, Anna. What is the answer? Do you remember Doesn't when you one. were little? Everyone remembers when they were little. <laughs> in, the, uh, in the Christmas cracker, mm -hmm. if you were lucky, you'd have that little tube that you could twist around. Oh, a, colli a, a kaleidoscope. A kaleido oh, I love a, a kaleidoscope of butterflies. How very... Well, that's very appropriate for today, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It's a very it's, kaleidoscope. It, it, it is. Yes. It's a very kaleidoscope. we should rename design. it to the kaleidoscope. 
There you From go. Butterflies flutter by. Would you it's... send that information to our buying team, and the next time we have anything like this, we shall call it that. <laughs> the kaleidoscope quilt, or the kaleidoscope butterflies flutter collection. The things that they have to Google. Kaleidoscope. It's brilliant. Who knew that? Who knew that without looking it up? Anyone? That's a good one, that, isn't I'll it? I'll be impressed if people knew that. That's good, isn't it? Collective terms. If you've got Indeed. any interesting ones, by the way, feel free to message them in. It doesn't have to be <laughs> butterflies. If there are any others that you think we might have not have heard of, then just email. Let's watch some more sewing, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going all the way around the outside and we're just reinforcing that raw edge. So we've, we've used the bonder web to, to, um, to fix it down, but this, this will, will reinforce it. How's the Elna doing? I, I, I like it. I love... I love this hair and tortoise mode. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, because it, it, it gives you control, which is what we, you do need that on this. Yeah. You could, of course, hand sew it if you want to. If you do a really lovely blanket stitch in your hand sewing, you could hand sew it on. Oh, it's actually... No, Parliament is not, um, it's not bats, it's owls. Oh. Similar, creatures of the night. Yeah. Um, as Wendy sent in a picture, did you say, as well? We've got some pictures. You know we asked earlier oh, yeah. of Liberty Makes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we've got some. Let's let's feast our eyes. Uh, this is Wendy. Oh my word! Who's Look at that. halfway through? She's making a Dresden plate cushion cover, That's nice. uh, cover, and this is the start of it. Wonderful work, Wendy. That's beautiful. That is lovely. Look In at those fact, lovely colours. Some of those fabrics, I'd love a tie-in. I have to say, very very nice. And John would love a shirt. In very yes, nice indeed. Yes, he was talking about shirts last time. I was yeah, there. here's June. Oh, uh, Julie, sorry, Julie. Oh, it's the Catherine Tote from last time. Yes, she's it's made the Catherine, the Catherine Tote. Tote bag. Yeah, she has made it. And she's that's now much. hooked on Liberty. Ah, uh, that's such a pretty bag, isn't it? Did you manage to get any of the bundles today, Julie? Um, because, yeah, it's another one. I, I, I said to um, Joe in the last hour uh, about CAFE, and it's certainly the same applies to Liberty as well. It's kind of. Once you're booked, you're hooked, isn't it? Exactly. It's one of those, isn't it? Oh my word, yes. I mean, as I said earlier, I spend a lot of my, a lot of my money on the Liberty fabrics. Yeah. No, absolutely. And, 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 it, and it's the sheer perfection of them as well. And, and I think you know, you, you look at them, and you, especially when you when you buy your kits and you buy your bundles and you get them home, and you start, you know, leafing through um, the pieces that you have. You suddenly think, right, okay, well, this is this project, but there mm. are so many other things that I want to cover in this wonderful, delicious fabric. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, so we've I've, got all the way around. So we've done two. So that's that's it. That's you would do that on all of your butterflies, and that's yep. your wall applique on your quilt block. That's fabulous, isn't it? Yep. So I like lovely. it. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? It's got a lovely, lovely um, yes, texture. This is, this is one of the really famous Liberty prints. It's called um, Wiltshire. It comes in lots of different ah, colourways. It's more okay. like winter berries, autumn, autumn. Yeah, because that reminded berries. me of blueberries. It's yeah. like winter snow covered yeah. blueberries. I know, lovely. Um, in terms of the cushion project itself, because obviously yes. we haven't got time to do all of that right now for you, but yeah. is there anything you came across that you think might be a good tip for, yeah, so, for anyone? So uh, this is this is the one from last time. So okay. think yeah, of those so colours. Different fabrics. So actually when you're turning it into a cushion, so this is the Jeans Meadow fabric for the for the backing. Um, I mean, I can, I can do it and bind it, but you, did Joe show binding on the last hour? But um, do, what, did she? do you want us to bind? I can, I can back Hayley? it and bind it. Hannah? Yes, please. Yes. OK, so this Oh, is... we've got plenty of time. We've got Ooh. 20 minutes. Oh, amazing. So on this one, it's, it's a little bit like that um, French seam I sewed in the last hour. OK, right. So it's wrong sides together. So we've got yes. our envelope. This is an envelope back, so it'll be really okay. as a simple backing for your for your viewers. And you yes. just you um, you you press and sew over. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a, a quarter inch and then a half inch mm -hmm. on two pieces, and then we put right wrong sides together. It's, it's very unnatural for me to put wrong sides together. <laughs> we've been sewing yes. for years, yes. and then we would just sew all it's the way around the outside. Inside out, isn't it? And exactly. Then... Oh, I need to change my foot. Oh, yes, we have got the ordinary foot. Now, we've got lots and lots of people. <coughs> uh, we've got lots and lots of messages asking about this quilt on the wall, which we were discussing <laughs> in the last break. Um, we have emailed the um, buying team and said, 
Okay. We need. Uh, do you know when yet when you're you're back with us, Anna? Yeah, I'm. I'm back in November. I know it sounds a million right. miles away. Yeah, but I, I, we'll try. I, I don't know whether we'll be able to. We dock talked all the a lot about this in the studio the about doing yes. this. It, cre it needs about forty-five different Liberty fabrics to make that. Oh, that sounds like <laughs> heaven to me. Sounds like <laughs> heaven to me. Um, we are um, speaking to the team and saying, OK, we cannot carry on showing this and not be able to make it um, ourselves, so we need the kit um, putting together. We will get the buying team in place and sorted and organised um, to do that as quickly as we possibly can. Whether it can happen for November's show is another matter, but um, just be aware that we are as it's, seriously as we possibly lovely, can on it? the case. It's called the Tree of Life. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? And how many different fabrics did you say there were in About there? 45 different wow. Liberty fabrics. That's incredible. Yeah, I know. It's really pretty, isn't it? The intricate details. So you've got different fabric here and here. Yeah. It's lovely. We'll get on that, shall we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely needs to happen. Send memos everywhere, Hannah. So I've changed this to a, just a regular foot. And actually, with your okay. Royal Japlica, if you don't have a free motion quilter's foot, you, you can, can use, use that. Yeah. Oh, I need to put the feet dog up. Because you, you would still lift the foot when you want to change direction in the same way. It's just that the feed dogs yeah, you, are dictating a little bit. If I was doing it direction. with a number one foot, I'd probably keep the feed dog up. Right. And so that you can, yeah. you've got a bit more control. Yeah. Okay. Um, because the free motion quilter's foot means you can go in any direction you want. But right. It's, okay. Obviously, it's a bit, a bit more different. Yes. With a bit the, limiting. Yeah. Okay. So. Here we go. Oh, I'm on the snail. I need to go to hair. <laughs> <laughs> now, why is it going so slowly? I do like that about this sewing machine. It's a, it's a great little feature. Fabulous. So we're sewing all the way around the outside with wrong sides together. This is how fast you wanted me to sew in the first hour, wasn't it? <laughs> Okey dokes. Ooh. All the way around the outside and then because we've got our raw edges on the outside it's um we're binding those in okay which makes quite a nice little finish for a cushion i see you've got the book on sale today eh? yes got lots of nice things projects yes. in there we have, you've yes. Got the, you've got the dolly. Why don't you show the dolly? Oh, oh yes, yes, actually, yes. We've got the lovely. dolly and the trolley, haven't we? The dolly and the trolley. <laughs> Hannah was, uh, was uh, showing me this this morning. This is great. This is one of the, um, one of the projects in the Little Lady, Lady Liberty book. And, um, and she's reversible as well, she isn't is, she? She's lovely, isn't because she? Because I, I don't know if I want to do it in full camera view. I might want to do it discreetly, Mike. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> because look, <laughs> there you go. That's a wonderful idea, isn't it? It's That's nice. a wonderful idea, From isn't it? Time's gone by, isn't I it? I know. Matt? It's beautiful. It's lovely, and I love the fact that there's so much body to the dress itself as well. I think that's really, really clever. Um, that's one. Although she is, technically speaking, standing on her head the whole time. Um, <laughs> Um, it's in here. It's the Little uh, Lady Liberty um, book, which is incredible. It's like a step back in time, isn't it? Really, really brilliant. By Alice Caroline, of course. Um, and let's just have a little look. Wonderful little projects, uh, not just for young ladies, for everyone, for all ages, for everyone to make. Um, what a real joy. Could be a lovely little present, isn't it? If you are just getting started in your love of Liberty fabric as well, this would be a good... Oh, there's some really Definitely nice projects good in there. Addition. I mean, it's designed um, for, you know, the, the makes are for little girls, so the clothes are for little girls and yeah. little girls' bedrooms. But yeah. this, oh, you stood that up so beautifully, and I've knocked it down. There you go, she's all right again. <laughs> um, so that's head. available at £15.95 uh, if you want to get hold of that, uh, which is good. And this dolly is um, uh, one of the projects from that book, so we'll stand her there. Do you think you can stand there and grow good? Marvellous. She's pretty. She is lovely. Right, where really have we got lovely. to? So, so we've got to, I've sewn it. Okay, wonderful. Long sides together. Yeah. And then we're going to, to bind it. And okay. you could trim at this point with your rotary cutter mm -hmm. if you wanted to. Okay. It's quite nice to have a, a nice edge to bind. Actually, oh, no, we have still got plenty of time, haven't we? Because we, we were talking that? about a, a charm pack um, 
demonstration, won't we? Because a lot of people are asking about this other, this other project, oh, which is the, uh, um, yes, to make the. Uh, would you half, like me to move on to that? Half squares. The half square triangles. Yes, uh, that's it. Half square triangles. I knew there was a word missing. I um. Well, you tell me what you would like me to do. I'm I'm happy to do anything. Well, we're all right Within for a couple reason. of minutes. Yeah, we'll just <laughs> maybe bind one edge, shall we? Yep. Okay. So that's just. You, can, you would trim all, all the sides down. Yep. And then we get our binding. So what I've done on this binding, you get, you get the fabric, so it's sort mm -hmm. of, it's DIY binding. Yep. And you Is this would... another one like Joe's where you would make one long strip? Yes, or... so you make one yeah. long strip, which I've, yep. You've done. I've tied together there mm -hmm. to keep it, to keep it, um, you know, nicely, nicely tucked in there. Yep. And so I've pressed in a, a quarter inch seam on that side. And so we would... So you start on the reverse. No, you start on the front, forgive me. So you've got your nice neat edge, your sewn edge on the front here. Okay. Just tuck it in. Like Such a delicious fabric, this. I know, it's a lovely binding. This is one of the butterflies as well, so it sort of ties in mm -hmm. the binding in with the, with the rest of it. So you just move along like this. We'll maybe just we'll, we'll maybe do the first corner as well, shall we? Because um, uh, yeah. quite often when people are doing a, um, a binding, mm -hmm. that can be a little bit of a, an obstacle, can't it, to yep. perfect the way of getting over? So there's lots of different ways that you can bind. You mm -hmm. can you can you can sew it on this side, and then you can if you if you prefer you can use a, a machine mm -hmm. stitch on the back. But we've mm -hmm. we've done a, a hand stitch, slip stitch on the back. Okay. To Keep it nice and neatly because otherwise it does tend to show through on the front. Okay. Yes, and we've seen that slip stitch recently, actually, in the breaks, haven't we? With um, Jennifer. Oh right. Yes. Well, every now and again, we get a little mini tutorial in the breaks. Oh, do you? And I think yesterday we saw the slip stitch, but that's available as part of the tutorials on our website um, oh, great. as well at sewingquarter.com. And actually, we're going to slip the slip stitch into the next break at 11 o'clock. Ooh. Just so that we get a, another little reminder of it. Um, but whenever you want it, and actually, I can't remember how many there are, actually, but there, there are quite a lot of um, short tutorial videos for different stitches. Um, because you might hear mention of a stitch and think, oh, actually, now, is that the one where you, you know, you can actually go to um, our website and see that. OK, can you see what... Right, I'm getting to the end. OK. It might be worth just zooming in. Yep. So, what we're doing... In fact, I'm going to chop some of that off so I haven't... Yeah, no, that's fine, because we're, we're just doing a corner here, aren't we? You wouldn't we? do that, babe. <gasps> Don't chop that off. <gasps> Ooh. Beautiful Take Liberty care, fabric. Take care, chopping the Liberty oh. fabric. So, we would tuck it up out of the way, like this, mm -hmm. and then tuck it back down so then you're going back down so this bit this corner bit is almost tucked away i mean we could pin it out of the way like that so you'd go you'd sew all the way to the end and then tuck it okay so it gets quite tricky i can i can show you with it out yeah Yes, that might be easier, might yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. And you, you tuck it up like this. Keep that bit out of the way. Tuck it back ah, down. OK, would you just repeat that just once more? Sorry, because we okay. didn't have the shot. We have now. Right. So you've got, you've, you've sewn up to the end on that. Yes. So yeah. I imagine this on the other side. Yeah. OK. You've, you've, you've pressed in your, yeah. your quarter inch seam. Yeah. You tuck it up out of the way. There's a very good diagram in the instructions for this. Oh, perfect. Very Brilliant. good diagram. Very good. And then you would continue by tucking it back down. So this bit is almost tucked out of the way. You with oh, me? If yes. I pin it, you can see it. Can you see it on the diagram? Uh, yes, there's a lovely Alice picture here. Yeah. And then we would carry on and sew along here. So if you imagine... When you've finished, you would tuck that bit over and slip stitch ah, it on the back. Okay, I get it. Yes, yes, yes. And then yes, you would yes. fold it in. Yep. 
like I that, see. which creates a really nice, neat, yes, sort of a mitered look, mm. but without the mitre. Yeah. In. Should we um, see that? Oh, it's not on that. Oh, one. it's not on Just that one. Just ignore that. Okay, one. not on that one. That was my that was my <laughs> speed sewing. <laughs> that speed sewing. Do you know? I always manage to do that. I always manage to do that. <laughs> Here's the finished one. This Let's is, see this the is example. midnight sewing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this fine. This is TV sewing. That's fine and dandy. <laughs> that's fine and dandy. So then you would. You, you fold it over, and you would do the same on all, all sides, and then you would slip stitch on the back. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely, Beautiful, lovely. Beautiful, nice, neat slip, slip stitching. Um, the kit to make this, by the way, is the one that's on your screen right now, £27.50. Uh, we'll have a little look at all of the contents of that uh, bundle for you as well, because there's all, all Liberty fabric all the way through. Full instructions, which are very, very meticulous um, from Alice herself as well, mm. including hand-drawn pictures, so it's very, very neatly and easily explained. And, of course, remember, when this arrives with you, you can always come back to today's date's YouTube video via um, our YouTube channel, and you can watch uh, Anna's demonstration all over again. Now, I'm going to bring you the details for the small charm pack that we've been um, seeing this morning. Um, I'll, I'll find it. It's, it's 36 two and a half inch squares. They are amazing. We're about to do a charm pack demonstration actually and um, Anna's going to be demonstrating with a five inch square but this is the, um, here it is, here's how it comes to you actually. Here's how it comes to you. Beautifully packaged, a massive, massive selection. Um, we have got the five inch um, squares uh, versions of these I'm afraid have sold out um, of these. So we've got the two and a half inch squares. So you'll just scale up whatever Anna is about to do right now. In fact, she's got some Well, I can either show here. you this and to make a cushion, or I can show you the half square triangles. It's up to you. Or both. Or, or both. Let's do the half square triangles, Ooh. though, because yeah. I think that's... that's I just because got this out, because you can see them sewn um, together. That piece at the front of the set there, um, that's made with half square triangles, it isn't is, it? It is, it is. But look, when they're sewn together, they look so pretty, these. Mm. Gorgeous. Right, Beautiful. half square triangles. That's lovely. Let me just show you that very, very quickly. So if you're just piecing the small two and a half inch squares, that's what you're getting. And there's enough in the charm back to make a 10 by 10? 10, 10 inch. 10 by yeah. 10 inch um, cushion square. Fantastic. Right, lovely. <laughs> there's a, Ooh, there's, so another, much going there's on. another heavily prepared demo that we'll never get to see. I'm so sorry, Anna. Well, look, at the end of the day, it makes a beautiful... I just have to finish it off at home. It makes you're, a beautiful cushion, doesn't it? You'll incorporate it. You'll well, incorporate it. The whole house is covered with liberty. Absolutely. So these right. are the five inch square packs. Okay, that's fine. But it's, it's good to show people how they Well, it's how the same, same technique it. no matter the stairs. In it fact, is. we do have the pink selection in the five inch squares. We have four of those <laughs> remaining. So if you want to have a detailed look at those, um, we're going to put the details on the, on the bottom here. But um, so Anna is demonstrating on the larger squares, but we only have the um, two and a half inch squares and four of the pink five inch squares. So it would be the same principle, but just smaller or larger. So I just wanted to show you what I'm actually doing. It's good, always good to show. Yeah, definitely. So we're doing, we've, got, we've taken two of our five inch okay, square yes, triangles yeah. and we've placed them right sides together. Mm -hmm. And we're going to sew all the way around the outside. Right. And then there'll be a ta-da moment at the end. You can, while I'm doing this, you can show some I've made earlier. What was that? Oh. Yes, I can. So you can show how you mix them up with whites. I love the way I've got you... little jobs to do this morning. It's great. Sorry. No, no, it's OK. It's fine. It's fine, because usually it's just the iron. I'm you're not usually trusted with anything but the iron. <laughs> um, so, so this is... Uh, this, <laughs> and I haven't mentioned Pokemon cards at all so far this morning, <laughs> which are the bane of Anna's life, although they are absolutely marvellous, and that's Anna's personal opinion, and not that of Immediate Media TV <laughs> Limited. Um, look at that. She just has to buy a lot of them, don't she? They're, they're just in your life quite a lot, Anna, aren't they? Oh. But we said we wouldn't mention those, so no, let's just move on. No, we mustn't mention those. To oh, we're only talking about rainbows. Only be talking about beautiful Liberty Fabrics. Yes, let's just talk about Liberty Fabrics. Um, and by the way, this, this quilt that you're seeing here in the, in the background, that lovely, it's the Tree of Life design, isn't it, yeah. behind us? Yeah. Uh, we're trying. Honestly, we need, to, we need to badger and nag. I'll start sending some emails as well. I'm, I'm not even full time here and I'll start sending emails saying, come on, Ooh. sort it. Oh, but there are a lot of Liber Liberty fabrics in, in that um, quilt. But I can hear the nation saying, oh, that, oh we're in talks, apparently. Oh, with in Alice talks? Over it. It's very, oh, very great. good. Um, but actually, I can hear the, the nation saying, when we keep saying there are lots of Liberty Fabrics in there, I can hear the nation collectively saying, who cares, we want it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I as know. soon as possible, please. Oh, I've got a little bit jammed here. Never mind. You know why? Because it's live. Oh, yeah, of That's course. That's why. Of course. Live telly. 
We'll edit it's this lovely. out later. It's all fine. <laughs> there we are. We're off. I know that tree of life. It's such a. It's such an old, um, fashion design as well. I Do you mind if I open this pack? No, not at all. Thank you, bless you. That's why I, I got it out. Because uh... you really need to see the yes, colours and the shapes. Yes, you do. You need to see and... everything that's that's in there, really, don't you? I want to find something to uh, to lay it upon. Maybe the back of the butterfly is uh, all the space I have left now. Yes, sorry, I'm a bit greedy with space. And, and as no, I said earlier, right, I'm fine. very messy. No, it's fine. I'm loving it. I was trying to watch Jo earlier to see how tidy she was. To, um... Well, I, I think you have good. In everyone has good intentions, don't they? And then, and then the studio gets involved. Yeah. Oh. I'm just having a little game of um, tessellation here. Okay. Now Anna's cutting there. You watch Anna cut, and I'll um, and I'll carry on arranging. So we've sewn around all the all the sides. Yes. And we're going to cut from corner to corner. This is where you need one of those. Fancy mat. Oh, a rotating that... cutting mat. It's funny yeah. enough, we do have that scheduled in this hour, you know. Do you? We I'm do just going have to one. do a very ungainly okay. turn of it that's like right. that. But you, no, that's fine. If you've got a rotating, a rotating cutting, mat. cutting mat, that's what you need to get for this. <laughs> <laughs> do you like my ad on sales? Great. Brilliant. Very, very good. <laughs> Hannah's upselling Hannah. <laughs> that's good, isn't it? That saves me the job. And as you can see, we've you can see my my cutting there. Fabulous. And then we've got a half square triangle. Jolly good. And you can mix it up with white. Fantastic. Or what I quite like to do is have them going the same way. So you could have a, a quilt block like this. And then you could have one next to white. Really pretty. Or you could you could do it in whichever way you want to, really. And then sew them together. And actually, um, because this will make a, a... Do you know what? I just... I, I haven't got time now to really do it. But if you think about it, if you've already made a 10-by-10-inch block, this has just occurred to me now, because the, um, because the mini charms will make that again, if you take the reverse of a block that you've already made, this is a great way of actually laying out your design, isn't it? It is. Um, with all of your... If only yeah. I'd have thought about that about five <laughs> minutes ago, that would have been great. Um, but anyway, have a look at the selection there. It's not particularly well presented now because I've, I've midway between ideas. That's what um, we spend our life doing, just chucking fabrics but, down. But that's what you do, isn't it? And then you just yeah. start rearranging them and saying, right, OK, how am I going to... Uh, how am I going to work? And actually, I've, I've been entirely random there. I would obviously take a little bit more um, time and care over laying those out. But essentially, you've got your <coughs> 10 by 10 um, mm. square there. Um, right, fabulous. Well done. Um, honestly, so, so busy today. So, so busy. In fact, most of the Liberty Fabrics that we've um, had today, per se, have pretty much sold out and gone. Um, we... In the smaller charm packs, because we, had, we, we knew that these would be very, very popular uh, indeed, we are now looking at the last 20 sets, and I know that's of a massive stop, because I know the smallest charm pack is the one that we had the biggest availability of, um, and that is the 36 2.5-inch squares, um, again, in an array of fabulous, so fabulous design, and they are so, so beautiful. It's quite difficult to see the... Well, actually, your pictures are very, very good on that yes, one. Yes, it, it is. It's quite difficult to see, because they're quite I, delicate colours, aren't they? Yes. They're quite pastel -y. They are, they're very but I think supple. they would go with any... You know, what about, you know, a little cushion for your conservatory mm. or your, you know, or your child and, or your grandchild's bedroom. It's or, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So you're just putting um, so combinations together. Yeah, so, and then you can book all sorts of different combinations together. Now, this way of doing it does, does cut on the bias, but with Liberty Fabric, it's actually... It's fine to do that because it's, it's, it doesn't stretch too much because it, it's such high thread count and, and such high quality. Marvellous. So um, I've, just, I've just heard the magic words, and, and they're early. Um, car for Anna Saunders. I've just heard the magic words. I'm going to have to leave you. Are we? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Oh, I've had such a fun morning. Thank you so much. A pleasure. It's been a pleasure to meet you and, and work you. with you as well and see this beautiful fabric. When are you back yeah. with us again? November, I think. We can't keep, we can't keep up with the uh, sewing quarter. <laughs> Tree of life. Tree, Tree of, of life. Tree of life in November. Let's fingers crossed that the next November date... Well, listen, all I need to do is send John Scott an email and he will make things happen. <laughs> um, so, don't worry. And remember the kaleidoscope of butterflies, um, the, the kit uh, that we were seeing earlier, um, £27.50. That is still 
hanging on. Hanging on <laughs> right now. Um, there it is. And pretty much everything else, I would say, call and see what the availability is um, here at the Sewing Quarter uh, right now. I'm going to give you your pieces back oh, as well, thank Anna. You. Thank, thank you so, so much. Because I, I feel that we've, we've learnt um, so much as well. Um, it's amazing. We've got some tools now, have we, to play with? Should we go and play? Are we going over there? OK, let's go for a little walk. Thank you, Anna. Bye. See you soon, I hope. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's been lovely meeting you. Um, oh, here's the, here's the tool that I, I remember. I love this. This is one of the first I ever um, actually had a go myself and had success immediately cutting out circles. It's from Fiskars, and, and of course, Fiskars you trust for your rotary cutters and for your other bladed items. So you've got here um, an easy circle fabric cutter. You can see you've got the guide there, which is taking you up from a two inch up to a 12 inch circle. And you literally just fold the fabric, use the um, crosshairs there to use the, um, the line of the fabric, um, the edge of the fabric, should I say. You've got the little cutter here, and this is very, very clever. It has a little safety guard on it and it's actually spring loaded. So it won't actually activate until you've got these two um, little feet, if you like, or teeth, lined up in the tracks of the cutter itself. In fact, I show you back to front, if that's OK. So we'll pretend. Obviously have a cutting mat on the table. I'm just going to demonstrate how you actually do the cutting. So you just locate the little teeth within the track, just like so, and then you actually push down, and that will reveal, if I turn that sideways, that will reveal the cutting blade, as you see, and that will allow you then to simply just draw the cutter around in a circle, and then, of course, you just open up your fabric and you've got a perfect circle every single time. Any way from a two inch up to a 12 inch circle. Now, I have done this myself a couple of times before and I had immediate success, um, which is good, actually cutting different sizes. The other great thing about this is it has these wonderful sort of rubber feet and there are six of them. So you've got it on a, obviously it would sit on a cutting mat anyway, but it means that when you've got it on your, in fact, I've, this cutting mat is too small for it really, I need a bigger cutter mat, but let's pretend that my desk is a cutting mat for a second, when it's there, it's good and secure. In fact, I'm more likely to move the table um, than the actual um, cutting mat, which is really, really good. So that will sort of half a deer to the cutting mat itself. That is worth its weight in gold if you think about how many times you do need to cut out circles uh, and it will cut from a two inch circle up to a 12 uh, which is brilliant so here's the details sygq 96 is your item number then it's the fiskars circle fabric cutter at 31 pounds and 95 pence next up is it this one Yay! Now, this is what Anna needed a few, uh, a few minutes ago in that demonstration, really, uh, when she was, um, she was cutting in different directions. Uh, this, of course, is a rotating cutting mat, so you will start off in, uh, in one direction and then be able to simply move your work around and then cut uh, in a different direction. Uh, Joe says that these are really, really amazing, um, particularly if you're doing your um, patchwork as well. But I have to say, just very, very universally useful. Um, you know, just for, also for, for angles as well. So if you're cutting at a 45 degree angle, you've got the, um, the degrees actually marked across as well, right the way through, uh, which I love. It's completely and utterly uh, metric. Beautiful. And the underside of that, by the way, because it sort of locates, you can see how this works. It's two parts. So uh, the top part simply slots into the bottom half and rotates. And the bottom half is actually, um, it's like a rubberized um, base which is very, very clever indeed. So that's YWGQ48, only just back in stock, by the way. Oh, right, OK. £32.95. pence. Ho oh, ho, I love this. I love this. Now, thread not included, but we can deal with the thread as a separate issue for you. Um, one of our most popular tools here at Sewing Quarter um, is this actually we ha we had some pictures in yesterday from people who were making and I'm sure I there was one of these in the background I think in one of the pictures I can't remember now um, this is great so it's a 60 spool rack as you can see um, it's got its stand you know sort of uh, there so it just opens up like a frame if you like 
Uh, you could wall mount this as well if you wanted to. There's certainly um, space to do that. In fact, if I turn it around and show you, there are little locating pins there um, in four points, actually, so you can actually wall mount this if you want to. Um, it's there at 1995, thread not included, obviously, but um, we do have a good selection, as you know, um, of threads here at the sewing quarter. And that's just 1995. And remember, you only ever have to buy that once. You only ever have to buy that once and the 60 most popular colours that you would use and you might think, well, I might never use 60. Oh, you'll soon amass a collection. Once you start working through different fabric ranges, you'll realise, OK, I need that colour thread and I need thread to coordinate with that. Every time you buy a pack or a bundle with us, um, ordinarily, if we're making, um, the thread is usually included with the bundle, so that's more to the collection that you already have. Um, you can thread um, mini spools on here as well if you want to. As you can see, we threaded some um, little bobbins on there as well, which you can do. But they're primarily, these are uh, designed for the big sort of Gutterman rolls, um, which are, are brilliant. So obviously thread not included there, but you only have to buy the stand once. £19.95. pence. And again, doesn't it look good? It just looks the business, doesn't it? It suddenly makes um, your, your sewing area, it suddenly makes it look the absolute business, doesn't it? Um, which is great. So that's MBGQ43. Right, we are moving on. Moving on um, to a ruler. Now, this ruler, I'll just pass that to Jay. Thank you very much, Jay. Great for your um, paper piecing. Uh, and your foundation and English paper piecing um, is this ruler here. Now, which has a very, very clever ridge. So if I show you in profile there, that little ridge is a quarter inch. So that is your seam allowance all sorted for patchwork, which is really, really clever. Very, very simple, isn't it? And of course, you still have inches marked out um, from zero up to 12 inches uh, on this one. It's a nice bright colour as well. It's not really going to blend into any fabrics, is it, because of its colour. Um, so it will stand out very, very distinctively. I was just going to grab a little bit of, um, of that Liberty um, fabric for a second. Sorry, I'm just having a little wonder. Um, I was just going to grab some Liberty fabric. I might not have chosen exactly the right one. But again, um, it's easy to see the graduations on the ruler uh, against any type of fabric. There you go. £15.95 uh, for that ruler right now. It's G-A-E-Q-83 is your item number. And remember, the secret to this is this little ridge uh, there at the end, which is your quarter-inch seam allowance. What a good idea. It is. It's the measurement, isn't it? In paper piecing, in quilting, in, in pretty much everything. Everything needs a seam allowance pretty much, doesn't it, in this world. Um, so £15.95 and 95 pence and that's yours g-a-e-q 83 we've got some more tools to show you uh, now love these right we're going to look at fabric pencils right now uh, we're going to start with uh, e-g-r-w-61 which is green uh, i can take these out as well we'll take these out so these are fabric pencils obviously for marking out your uh, your fabric they do look like pens don't they very much um, you get the little, um, are these chalk or how do these work? They're like, yeah, they are like a chalk, but they're a, a nice bright colour actually. I could do with a dark fabric to maybe show you. I could, I could draw on my waistcoat, but I won't. Um, but if you are marking out fabric, so um, very, very simple. And it's, again, it's a little bit like a, a propelling pencil, isn't it? Um, which is really, really good. Have we got any dark fabric around at all? We'll have a little, have a little look. I could, I could just draw on the dark part of my shirt there, couldn't I? See how it comes out. Yeah, so it makes, makes nice... I'll wash that later, it's fine. Oh, can you see that? Can you even see that? Yeah, it's just chalk. Um, I've got some fabric. Oh, actually, it's, it's pink, though. Oh, well, actually, could try. Could try. Could try. Oh, that's better. That's much better. So it's a very, very fine line, so you can see there, and it shows up very, very easily. There you go, SQ, that's all I could manage. <laughs> um, so that's that in the green. There are three different colours available, actually. So this is the green, EGRW61, and it comes with one, two, three, four, five, it looks like, um, replacement um, leads for it as well. So quite a long length lead as well. So that's your green one. Uh, that's the first one, EGRW61. The next one is your 
pink. Lovely. Yep, and I've got a pink fabric, so I'll need to uh, swap that for something else. <laughs> Our fabric channel, we're struggling to find fabric at the moment. It's so much has sold today. Um, this is the pink one, JPRW47. Again, comes with the um, replacement leads as well. Got a creamy fabric. Let's, uh, let's have a little go, shall we? I probably shouldn't draw big designs on these, should I really? Because somebody will have to sort it all out later, but never mind. Well, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it in style, hey? Went for a little... Oh, can you, can you see it all right? Can you see that? I'll show Tom, shall I? There you go. Ah, true love. There you go. Very good. Anyway, it's £9.95. It's going to last forever and ever and ever as well, isn't it? I mean, not literally forever. We don't know how long that is, but it's going to last for a long, long time um, because you have the extra refills in there as well. Well done. One last colour to, colour to see, and that will be... Is it white? It is white. I thought it has no colour there at the top. So I might try my pink fabric with that. Should be all right, I think. Should be all right, I think. Let's have a little go. Let's get rid of that one. Let's start with a new side. Uh, where are we? All right, let's do... Yeah, it'll be... It, 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 the thing is, camera and how our eyes see things are two completely different things, I'm going to think. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this really, really, like, twice or three times over, just a little bit exaggerated, just so that you can see. And I was going to do the whole of the item number, but I've decided I'm just going to stop with the G. Um, but <laughs> you can say, oh, or I will be here all morning. Uh, and, of course, we've got the elephant to launch at 11 o'clock, so we've got lots to do today. But, again, you can, you can fill that in if you want to. And, of course, it is erasable too. So let's just, let's just prove that point, because I'm going to actually rub out the corner of the G. And in fact, I'm going to make the G a C. So I'll rub out that bit. <laughs> Just to show how effective it is, there you go. I've turned that into... Oh, actually, I just need to border it off now. But anyway, when I started it off with a, with a G, now we're at a C. Fantastic. It's like chain letters, isn't it? Uh, 995 G-I-R-W-76 is your item number. Fantastic. Right, OK. Time now for a bias binder maker. Right. OK. This one here. I'm not going to make some uh, bias binding right now, but basically what you do is you take your, um, your strips and you pop one end into that end and you feed it all through and you iron as you go. And what that will do is um, fold the fabric over itself and make yourself a 25 millimeter or uh, one inch bias tape. I remember these from the test shows. I remember watching my lovely Ali Meyer uh, making the binding. Actually, Sean, our project manager, it was. And the large size uh, is there, 25 millimetres, which is 25 millimetres. That's one inch as well, isn't it? No, that's not 25 millimetres. This is bigger. This is the 50 millimetre. This is the two inch. So it's very, very difficult to get this size bias binder maker in the shops. Right, OK, that's it. We're out of town now. Not yet, though, because we're going to take a little break and then we are going to name and make this fabulous Joe Carter elephant and get your idea for other animals you'd like Joe to make. So, the and me, we'll see you back here in about three minutes. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a slip stitch, which is basically a hemming stitch that is almost invisible on both the right and the wrong sides of the fabric. So I'm going to go in through my layers here, through the single hem. I'm going to leave a tail before doing my double stitch here. So I'm just going to go through one, twice there. That's giving me my double stitch or locking stitch, ready to then do my slip stitch. Okay, so first of all, you need to take the smallest amount of fabric. So you want at least one or two pieces of thread in the fabric before then going into the fold of your single hem. And you're gonna run your needle through that fold 
for pulling it out. And then again, a couple of stitches. Bear in mind I'm using a really big needle here because I'm using an embroidery thread. But you get the idea where you're just catching your material there. Before again, placing your needle in through the fold of your single hem. So you want to keep these as even as possible. So I'm just doing my last stitch now. So here you can see that you can't really see the stitches from the back of the piece. So this would be the back of the trouser leg, the bit that you wouldn't see. And then from the front, you should only see very small stitches, if not at all, if you're using the right needle and thread. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the sewing quarter worth £14.99. Join us on Friday the 29th of September when Angie Atwood will be demonstrating some of the amazing features of Thread's printable fabric. The Thread drains let you print any image onto fabric, offering up endless possibilities for customization. Design your own fabric, create custom embellishments for applique, or make decorative textile art with this very versatile fabric collection. Over two hours, Angie will inspire us with some new ideas, including some unique handmade lampshades, while offering up some handy sewing secrets along the way. So tune in on Friday the 29th of September, 9am and 11am, and find out what you can achieve with threads. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Good morning, everyone. Here we are, third. Oh, no, yes. Is it the third hour or the fourth hour? Fourth hour. I forget how this works because it is four hours. Yes, this is the last um, of the hours for today's sewing quarter. So you would never have forgotten that, would you? At all, completely and utterly. Um, welcome back. This is the hour that I think everyone has been waiting for. In fact, to be honest, today has just been a little bit of an overload, hasn't it? Don't you think? I mean, it's just been incredible. It's been like a roller coaster. Liberty... Cave, a Joe Carter launch as well. Hello. Now, what are we going to call you? We need some suggestions. We need some suggestions from you. Now, we were thinking, I can't remember now, Joe said without eyelashes, could is a boy normally. That's child's logic. Polly has suggested that we call you Thimble. Oh, I see, sewing quarter related. What do you think? Well, not getting much of a reaction there. What about Pokey? Pokey. You fancy being called Pokey? Don't know, I'm not getting a huge resounding. I mean there's been no there's been no trunk up kind of noise there. You are gorgeous though. You are gorgeous. I'll sit there, look, you can see your mummy there. She she's over there, look. There she is. Anyway, right, so we go through the bundles now. Honestly, we can't sit here chatting all day, you know. We've got, we've got bundles to do, you see. We've got work to do. Now, first of all, um, here is the grey elephant kit. Now, this is the one that we expect to um, sell out first because, of course, elephants are grey, and this is the grey kit. So, in the kit, you have your two fabrics. You will get a linear texture fabric, which is heron grey, and you will have a Macau solid which is, in this case, is slate. So it's half a metre of each. You also get the felt. Now, I think that looks like a 30 by 30 centimetre square. Ho oh, ho, I tell you what. Now, fancy a man who underestimates. Well, that's me this morning. Um, it's, no, I was right, I was spot on. Because usually we go way over, don't we? Uh, you also get, uh, okay, this has gone crazy already on the baskets, by the way. RLGC77, there's the eyes, and you've got the thread there as well. Um, this is the one that we have the, do we have the largest stock of this one? Yes. And it's already got a little bit crazy. 
So let me show you everything that you are getting in this kit. It's RLGC 77 um, in the grey. Now, it does... We have this bundle available in two other colours as well. If everyone checks out the, um, the grey... Oh, sorry, I forgot to show you, yes, that you get the, um, the, the filling, the stuffing. Of course, you get that for it. I don't... It's not called stuffing, don't worry. It's all right. So cover, cover your ears, it's fine. It's not really... We're not stuffing you, it's fine. Um, if everyone checks out on the grey, we're looking at half the stock already allocated, just so you know. I know everyone wants to make this one. I know everyone's been waiting the whole week for this. Um, there's enough to make at least one elephant um, out of each bundle. Um, so just be as quick as you possibly can. So that's the grey. Let me show you the others and then we'll, we'll go and get started. I promise it will be all demo this hour. I promise. I promise. Um, let's do the cream now. Again, you're getting half a metre of your linear texture fabric and you're getting half a metre of your solid as well. So the um, linear texture is a cream uh, from Macau and the solid is biscuit. So you get half a metre of each of those. I've got the iPad here. Other tablets are available. Um, I've got the 30 by 30 centimetre uh, felt square plus the thread plus the buttons as well. So you've got your two fabrics. Um, and we do get instructions as well. Joe, did you write the instructions? I did. Fantastic, that's good. That, that would make sense, wouldn't it, as it is your elephant? <laughs> um, yes, so if they're Joe's instructions, I know you can trust in them 100%. In fact, 120%. Um, they're that good. Right, so that is the cream elephant kit there at 1995. Um, which colour? We're making, you're making up the cream, aren't you? I am. Yeah, so we'll see a, a finished... Will we see a finish by the end of the hour? Oh, with the following wind and a bit most, of luck. <laughs> most of the way. Yeah, it depends how much I butt in, I suppose, doesn't it? Um, but we might see a finished cream by the end of the hour. You might have a, uh, you might have a brother or a sister. Possibly. Um, right, OK. Let's go for the uh, green now. So this is half a metre of your linear texture fabric by Macau in Cameo. And you've got the Spectrum Solid, uh, again by Macau in the teal. Again, you get your 30 centimetre square of white felt. You get the eyes, you get the thread, you get the stuffing. And I, I don't mean stuff, stuffing. I mean, I mean super soft toy and cushion filling, not stuffing. It's OK. It's OK. It's all right. It's fine. I'll look after you, I promise. Um, 1995. I'm stroking the elephant now. It's still unnamed elephant as well. We need a name. We need a name. We do need a name. So get your name suggestions in right now. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Now, the grey elephant kit... Should we go? Ah, uh, already... Now, what do you call a, a, a collection of elephants? Troop? Oh, I don't know. I think it's a troop. There's a troop of 70 who already have their homes. Sorted. Oh, that's good, isn't it? it of the is. grey. That's of the grey alone, by the way. Eighty, in fact. That that troop, or is it? A, oh no, not pride, is it? That's lions. Troop. Is it a herd? Would they be a herd, herd of elephants? Of course, it's a herd of elephants. It's. Of course, it is. A herd of eighty is already allocated. Elephant names: Susan in Derbyshire, Heffalump, Igor, and Henry. I like Igor. I like Igor, but uh, we might have some copyright issues with that. Um, Anne in Cheshire says thimble sounds great. I like thimble. Thimble, yeah. Actually, we should we should we should have a little thimble somewhere, should we, for you? You could never be a pin cushion though, because you just couldn't do it to him, could you? You just Doesn't couldn't. Look cruel. You couldn't do it to him. Um, hi, Joe and Derek. I suggest the name of Duke for the elephant. Idea for the grand old Duke of York. Uh, he does look grand to me, says Tracy in Hampshire. Yes, you're right. Duke the elephant. He is quite, just quite masterful, yet, yeah. yet yeah, very, very cuddly and cute as well. Lovely. Right, Joe, shut me up now. Slap me and and let's let's do because I would I would if we can. The grey one will be sold out uh, already. Already, we are what? How many minutes into the hour? Seven, eight. We've already got more in baskets than we actually have available, which means that checking out has to be done in the grey, by the way. And um, we have got the cream and we have got the um, cameo, which is the, the lovely green as well. But, Joe, let's get started because you know what's okay. going to happen. You know what's going to happen. Right, shall I? I'll start with an ear. Okay. 
I have a few spare ears here. I'm not quite sure why I made so many ears, but you can't have too many. No, never. Right. The ear, two different fabrics. Place them together, right sides together, and sew around the edge, leaving this long side open. Yep. This is what we're aiming for. That's a finished ear. Mm -hmm. Is that one now? I'll just show you that. Oh, we've had bubbles as, as, oh, as a bubbles name. Oh, bubbles is cute. Yeah. Well, there wasn't bubbles um, a monkey. Bubble was. Oh, that's right. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's yes. monkey, wasn't it? Bubbles. And cuddles was cuddles a monkey as well. Cuddles. I'm now. Yeah, who, cuddles was the monkey that belonged to Keith Harris, wasn't it? See, I've I've never had larger ears, and actually, it's a bit Hobbit-like, isn't it? If you put it. See what it looks like on you, Jen. Oh! Very elfin like, yes. <laughs> Very nice. Sorry, where were we? I'm just making an ear. Oh, okay, that's fine. Like you do. Um... So they, they, they are curvy, but so a few stitches. I'm going to straight a bit now, but so a few stitches. Just pause with the needle down and readjust, even if you're doing a couple of stitches at a time and pivoting it round. It's the easiest way. Can you, can you, um, because you're changing directions quite often, could you use your um, free motion arm for that? Or tell me no if it's no. I wouldn't. Right. Um, because I, of the tension. Yes, I okay. think it's the tension problem. All right, well, now that's good to know. See, I, if I ask the silly questions, then you don't have to. You got Derek there, I can see. I have. So once the sides have been stitched round. Yep. Round the curves, clip V-shaped notches okay. in the seam allowance, just to remove some of the bulk. While you, while you do that, I'll give you some more names. We've got Nelly, Ollie. What else have we got? Keep them coming in. Studio at Clio. Clio. That could be quite a nice name, actually. Um, we've taken the grey graphics off, by the way, because we are way over allocated, um, which means that we have more in baskets that we have available. So please do make sure that you um, check yours out. Um, we've had another suggestion. Oh, that's quite a clever one, actually. A play on words. Nelephant. Nelephant. Mmm. That's not bad. I like that suggestion. I love the names people come... I'm terrible with names. Mm -hmm. Abby. Yeah, because, I, mean, I mean, don't confine it necessarily just to a boy's name. It could be, could be either. You know, it's 2017. There we go. So I've clipped V-shaped notches around the curves. And then I'm going to turn it the right way out. OK. Do you want to start hearing some suggestions of what people would like you to make in the future? Oh, go on. Or, or should I leave that to later in the hour? No, no, I'm... Because jo, jo, we, want, we want a challenge for Jo for her next kit. Remember, when she comes up with a kit, it comes with full instructions. So today we're saying, right, OK, well, you may have Jo's uh, monkey. What have you made on air so far that you can remember toy-wise? I've made robots... Yep. ..and oh, I remember rabbits. That, yes. yes. And birds. Unicorns and budgies. Yeah, I love the budgies. I think they're so nice. And sausage dogs. OK, so that's what that's what Joe has, has made so far. Um, but what you want the, the, the next one to be, because maybe you've seen some of those projects, you know, maybe multiple times, and you think, right, OK, next time, Joe, I would love to know how to perfect the art of making a stuffed... over to you. Uh, Let's combine it to animals, though. Uh, studio at sewingquarter.com. We can't make any promises. What we're going to do, though, is look at the most popular choices, and then, of course, it will take some time for Jo to uh, go back to her workshop, scream into a pillow, and then get started, <laughs> and then uh, perfect. Can we remove the word challenge from it? So that makes it sound like people have to come up with something difficult. Yeah, but, yeah, OK, <laughs> all right. You know. <laughs> yes, I want a, a four-winged pterodactyl, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, what have we got so far? We've had giraffe, crocodile, panda. Someone suggested uh, peng penguin. Oh, I've done a penguin. You've done a penguin on, before. I have, I have. Badger. I like a badger. Cow. Cow. Moose. Moose would be good. With, because they've got sort of antlers, haven't they? And they're and they're not like reindeer antlers where they all go off in different. They're like yeah. round with with points, just a few pointy bits on top, aren't they? With a moose. Yeah. <laughs> Any specific dinosaur? 
Keep them coming in. Studio. Oh, a lot, lots of people would love a cow. A cow? A cow. Yeah. I suppose, actually, because a lot, of, a lot of people have ceramic cows, don't they? So they... <laughs> Crocodile with all the teeth. All the teeth. All the okay. teeth. That's a lot of teeth, Joe. That's... Right, well, there's some food for thought there. You did ask. Uh, I know so, I... <laughs> yeah. I didn't. <laughs> oh, no, no. She didn't know about this until first thing this morning. She came in at, at, at six this morning. And we said, Joe, jo, we've all had this email asking the viewers to uh, suggest a toy that you're going to make in the future. Do you know anything about that? She was like, no, I do now, though. But there yeah. you go. You love making toys. You're the queen do, of toy do, making, aren't you? Yeah. Right, so. So I've turned them the right way out. Yep. And I give them a press. This one's the same one that I've already got mm -hmm. ready. So I'll pretend that one's pressed. Yep. And then to create this channel, to give the ear some depth mm -hmm. at the top, mm -hmm. Um, there's a stitch line along there that goes through to the back, just creates a channel to add some stuffing in. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, if you wanted to just put a light bit of filling in there. Um, but it does, it does stop the ears from doing that. Which it does, fabric and it alone, it would do that. It would, or they would well. go, yeah, they would either just flop down, wouldn't they? Ah, oh, oh, it's okay, don't it's worry. Sad. <laughs> You've got happy ears, it's fine, don't worry, but otherwise it would be, oh, look at me. They're lovely. So, so lovely. We got the details, by the way. The main graphics are the cream elephant, which Joe is making up right now, if I stop talking long enough. Um, and we've got the green graphics um, are down there because the, the grey elephant, I'm afraid, we underestimated. I knew we'd underestimated, honestly. I don't know how many times we need to underestimate before we learn um, that we've underestimated totally by about two or three times the number of these that we needed. Or just send that message right up management <laughs> levels for next time. Sorry, folks, but we will rectify in the future. Right. OK. On We're the, making the channel. template, mm -hmm. there is... The stitch line is marked. Right. So if you wanted to follow that, I'm going to... For speed, I'm going to draw it on. It does something like this. With your water-erasable pen. Water-erasable pen, always. There's the template as well, by the way, for the ear. And that's the stitch line that Joe's talking about there, that... that arc going up. Should we see if I've got it almost? Let's see how close yours is. Oh, not bad. It's not too bad, is it? Let's we'll see my allowances. Yeah. yeah. I go with that. You're getting good at this now, aren't you? <sighs> Practice makes perfect, though, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say that, but when I was making that one, mm -hmm. I stitched its lower leg on upside down. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. oh, well done. Very good. So I would recommend following the pattern and... <laughs> Sorry, who wrote that again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that'll be you, will it? <laughs> I think, oh, I've, I'll remember how to make this. No, I really should. Consult the pattern. Especially if you wrote it. Yes. And so following that line, just stitch... ..stitch line... ..and then pop some stuffing into this channel to give it some... Yeah. ..some shape at the top and some structure. With your, uh, with your Derek. Now, I've, I've blotted this stitch line out, so I'll use this one, I'll fill mm -hmm. this one. And we leave filling... Actually, there's a bit too much in here. It's easier to join into the seam when it stitches into the head, if the end... At least a finger width yes. empty. Yes. Because also, it's just one little... one little strand of that, because they all strands seem attached to each other, don't they? They in do. In stuffing. Uh, which I've noticed when I've been stuffing toys, because I've done quite a lot, actually, so between the test shows and actually being here as well, I've done quite a lot of these um, uh, stuffed toy kind of kits um, where you get the, you know, the direction and the stuffing and everything else. And I noticed that I have, you know, with a couple of my bears, they've got to cut a little, little end, and then when you pull it, it just seems to go on <laughs> and on and on and on, like, like you think, if I keep pulling this, I'm going to have a, a flat bear. Okay, just make sure that's... That's a good tip, actually. I'll try and speed up. Whenever I try to do this quickly, that's when I can never quite... I just had a deja vu moment there to one of the test shows. We had to stuff something very, very quickly. <laughs> I can't remember what it was now. There we, we had go. to stuff it very, very quickly. And I'm going to baste, to keep these 
and edge is nice and flat for when I'm joining them in. I'm mm -hmm. just going to baste along the end, inside the seam allowance, okay. just to hold them all together. All righty. Which other ideas have we had? We, we, we want ideas from you. A rhino, my, a director Mike um, likes that idea. A rhino. Uh, here's one you might be, not be so fond of. A pug. Oh, oh. See, there's a lot of expression in their face, isn't there? That's quite... That's difficult. That's a lot of face shaping. That's a lot of ruching. Although you could... Stitches at the end. Do you know what you could do for a pug? You could... And, and again, tell me if I'm wrong, but to get the ruching, could you use something like a brown pleather? Yeah, I think something like that would work really well. To get a puggy kind of, you know, because they're full of wrinkles, aren't they? They're like a bag of wrinkles, aren't they? They are. In the nicest possible way. No offence, anyone, but you know what I mean. They are... They're handsome bags of wrinkles. <laughs> Baby orangutan? That would be cute. Flamingo? Flamingo. Yeah. Mm. Flamingo? Legs would be tricky. Leg legs are very um, thin, aren't they, on a flamingo? They lion? They've got nice thick legs, haven't they? Lion. I quite like a lion. Mm. Yeah. You'd need... You couldn't really do tiger, though. Could... Oh, yes, you could do tiger, couldn't you? You could have a body colour and then stripes of Oh, you could another. applique the stripes on yeah. all... Printed, yeah, yeah, there's a few things. Anything else? Sloth. <laughs> Are they the ones with the big claws? Yes, they're, 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 they're quite difficult to get right in the face, I think. Yes, because, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Because they do have a, a certain look, don't they? They do. Which sort of says vacancy. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Probably very, very clever creatures, actually, aren't they? But keep those ideas coming through as well. Joe's loving them. <laughs> She's thinking, which one are they going to pick? The easy one. A pig. Yeah, a pig keeps coming up again and again and again, doesn't it? Pigs well, lots and of people cows. collect pigs, don't they? Yeah. Like, sort of... Maybe we need, um, maybe we need a little farmyard scene. Maybe, maybe instead of, you know, originally we had an idea that we were going to do a block of the month, weren't we? Then we were going to build up to a, a bigger quilt. Maybe, maybe it's a farmyard in X parts. A different farm animal every month. By the end, it'd Sorry. take up quite when a lot I, of space when, by the end when, of I the year. Say, when I say every month. Every month, yeah. Every now and again. Right, OK, so where are we now? So the ears are done. Yes. I'm going to tackle the face. OK. Now, the mouth, I've stitched along the mouth in mm -hmm. black. <laughs> this is the... Shot. Most, it's possibly not the most flattering angle. Yeah. This joins onto the lower face. I find corners, actually, easier to sew than curves. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sew up... Sew up to here. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it helps sometimes, actually, if you, so you know where you're going to start. Draw on the seam allowance. So the pivot point will be about there. Mm -hmm. And so sew up here and then pause with the needle down through the fabric and then lift the presser foot and readjust everything round to sew that bit. Okay. It might look tricky, but actually it's not. OK, well, let's looks. watch you do it and then see. Let's see okay. if we can, uh, we can get the, the cameras right in, the eagle eye cameras in to watch this. OK. So I'm just going to sew up to that point. Pause with the needle down and then lift the presser foot and pivot everything round. And it helps to get, I'm just going to use these snips, yeah. just to make sure the fabric doesn't get caught because then some will poke through the seam and you'll see it on the outside. So just have a good look and make sure all the fabric is pushed round and out of the way and where it should be. There we go. And then put the presser foot back down and just sew the rest of that seam. And that will form then the corner of the mouth. Hopefully I've done this OK. So um, that will be the corner yeah. of the mouth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. Remove these threads. So we're going to do that times two. Times two. I've done this one already. Yeah. And then I'm going to close. To give it a cheek here, mm -hmm. there's a dart in either side of the face. So mm -hmm. I'm going to bring the edges together and sew across the dart.
Fabulous. Okay. That's one done. Ah, uh, okay. So um, just keep the same seam allowance, just go straight across there like that. Crocodile is gaining in popularity. It's getting quite a few votes. They're quite knobbly on the back, aren't they? They're they quite, are. They have could be like quite a, tricky. Like a spiny mountain range on their back, <laughs> they don't do. they? do. And they're quite scaly. That sounds a lot of steps though, doesn't it? A lot of little peaks on its back. <laughs> get bigger at the top and then work their way smaller. <laughs> She's like, yes, I know all of this, Derek. Stop saying it. Um, can we have a smoother animal, maybe? <laughs> maybe a ladybird, a nice round. Ladybird, that would be great, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah, lovely. Tortoise, turtle, a worm. <laughs> <laughs> a worm would be perfect. I love the idea of a squirrel, because I think that, would, that, that could combine some amazing fabrics. The only issue with a squirrel, I suppose, would be its tail. Although you could have it sort of up and over and sort of pinned to its back almost. Couldn't Often you? So they are sort of stitched, up, hand right. stitched onto its back. Yeah. Not really a challenge though, Joe, is it? <laughs> <laughs> See what the viewers come up with. <laughs> Studio at sewingquarter.com. Keep your ideas coming through. She may not be talking to me by 12. <laughs> Let's see. Right, two sides of the face. Two sides of the face. And now I'm going to put them right sides together and sew all around the front of the face, so from this top edge all around the trunk, mm -hmm. making sure these seams line up mm -hmm. so that the mouth, the front of the mouth lines up and finishing there. Okay. So I'll sew around there now. All right, let's do it. How are we doing for time? Shall I try oh, and speed up a bags little bit? of it. No, it's bags, bags of it. No, but it would be quite nice if we could get, we could get a little, a little friend for, uh, we haven't, have we had any more name suggestions yet? Peanuts. Peanuts, cute. Dumpling. Ah, oh, that's nice for this time of the year, isn't it? It is. Ellery. Okay. Eddie. Eddie. Eddie the elephant. Eddie the elephant. There's a new song we could write as well, isn't there? Kim's got the cream and the green, and she's going to make Miss Ellie. <gasps> oh. And Master Eddie. Ah, oh, they're going to look great. Trooper. Trooper. Trooper the elephant. Trooper of elephants. Ooh. Cuthbert is another idea. Not dibble or grub, but Cuthbert, <laughs> the elephant. You might need to make him a little uniform or something. It, Cuthbert sounds like a, a studious student. Lynn's just sent a message in as well. And her grandson would like Joe to make a possum. A possum? Ooh. I have no idea. Is it I like can't... a kangaroo, is it? I thought it was like a raccoon or something. Oh. Oh, am I miles off Yes, there? no, you're right. No, no, director Mike uh, agrees and says, yes, it is definitely more uh, raccoon-like. Guinea pig. <laughs> I love guinea pig. Guinea pig. Imagine that. Put that in the cage. You would never have to clean it out or feed it or anything. It'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Uh, Neil's messaging as well. <laughs> oh, he's getting me to say this. Neil, you know Neil. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, our Neil. Yes. Has suggested, and I'm going to say this the wrong way round, but he suggested, uh, as an idea for animal, hippo. And the name he suggested is the name of the lady who sits to his left in the office. Hayley. <laughs> I was just trying to work out that. Yeah. Our sales manager, <gasps> Hayley. <laughs> I hope she's not watching. I, I hope she's not watching or you're in big trouble. Come Monday morning, that five days a week, sat next to somebody, you know. That's, that's quite a gamble, that's quite a risk. It is it, quite a it? risk, yeah. 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 She's not to be messed with either, our Hayley. Um, so we're, that's the trunk that we're looking at there, isn't it, that you're just cutting notches into now? This is the trunk, so it's, yes. there's quite a small curve at the end, so I'm going to clip V shaped notches again. I love the character as well. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Uh, we've got the details, by the way. Obviously, the, the grey elephant kit is completely and utterly sold out. So we'll we'll know. Is this your first? This is the launch for the elephant, isn't it? Says it says I've never done so the, the first elephant time. on screen. So I guess you will be back with the elephant at some stage in the future. Um, so we will uh, double, if not treble, the amount of um, stock available for the next time for the grey. But we still do have... Shall I show you the other two colour combinations, actually? Is it worth having a little look, actually? Um, 
Yeah, let's, I'll just show you. Remember, it's um, half a metre of your linear texture fabric and half a metre of your Macaua solid as well with both. So we'll show the cream first. Um, so you get half a metre of each fabric plus the thread and the eyes and the 30 centimetres square of the white felt plus the super soft toy and cushion filling as well. Um, all of that for 19.95, And then... Uh, we also have the uh, the green one as well, which we've hardly seen. So let's have a good look at that, actually. Um, that is... Uh, what, what are we calling that set? Cameo, that's right, because the linear texture fabric is the um, Cameo. You also get half a metre of the... I forget the name of the other fabric in that one, um, but it's a lovely sort of rich green, uh, green, should I say. You also get the felt... Oh, actually, in the greeny colour, there are only five left. Oh, OK. Well, you didn't need telling them, really, did you? You can see it all on the website, anyway, at sewingquarter.com. And if you're watching on the web, all of the products that are happening right now are over there somewhere, I think. The internal corner, the yes. bend in the trunk, I've just made little clips. In, so not, not notches, clips. Just clips mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. OK, so then I'll turn it the right way out. You get an idea of the, the face. Mm -hmm. And then with the front of the ears against the right side... Yeah. Of the face, I'm going to base the ears in position, and there are markers showing where these okay. ears fall. So I'll base this into position. Okay, dokie. Okay. <laughs> Keep your name ideas coming in, unless you uh, happen to work here. <laughs> Please don't insult the person next to you. Um, it's studio at sewingquarter.com. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, what have we had? Jumbo. Oh, Jumbo. We might have a, we might have copyright issues with that as well. But Jumbo's good. I like it. So cute, isn't it? This is what we're heading towards. And I love the position that it's sitting in as well. It's lovely. I think of that as if it's just fallen backwards yeah. onto its Yeah, bottom. it's it's how they do it. I actually once saw, I was lucky enough to go to India a couple of times, where if you're driving um, in traffic, um, if there's an elephant going round a roundabout, you stop for the elephant. I can imagine it could do some damage to a car. Serious? No, it's not that. It's, oh, it's, it? it's a pure respect thing. It's almost... Oh, I don't know it if it's written into law, but it's just the culture wow. there. A cow or an elephant gets you... priority on a roundabout. I know, and no indicators or anything. Mind you, I mean, do indicators. Indicators in India is, you know, it is really as useful as a chocolate teapot here, really, to be honest with you. You just have a horn for everything. <laughs> you have to try and interpret the, uh, the uh, vivacity of the horn. Right. What are we doing now? This is the other this is... the other ear, isn't it? You get a sense of what the finished face will look like. So you're basting like the this... ear onto the face. Just to hold them into position yep. for when I join the back of the head on later. <clears throat> OK. But that will be... <gasps> look, we're nearly there. The face. Look, your little friend's nearly here. Just being born. And then the back of the head. This is the way I always make the toys for heads. Yep. I will join along this back seam here from yep. the top down for a few centimetres so two inches maybe just to hold the pieces together oh okay but so I'll we're leave actually the main part open. so we're at the top of the face but going the... down here yes yes right okay that's the pedal there we go my director mike just said could could you add hair to your elephant as well. That would look very cute, a little tuft of hair. Yeah. Because yes. they do have... They actually, do. do they have, like, um... Do they have, like, eyebrows, don't they? That are quite... That come out quite some way. They have something above the eye, don't they, some elephants? Not all elephants. Not necessarily fluffy elephants. We've had a question, Jo. Oh, OK. About the toy eyes. Yes. Are they... Oh, are they OK? Are they child-friendly? I think they are. That's what I've put over the eyes. I'll, I'll, I'll get the little packet and have a look in I've just a second. I've not brought the packets in with me. It's OK. There's, there's one over there with Here the sample, are. so I'll get it. Oh, there they are. I'll see if I can get the, uh, a look at the instructions. But you could also um, embroider the eyes in if you wanted to as well, couldn't you, rather than using the, uh, um, the kit that comes with... You could. Once the back is fitted over the shank of the eye, yeah. it, won't come out, it won't come off. Yeah. To, to remove the eye, you have to break it. You can't get that back off. Uh, so it means okay. it's held really well. Right. OK. In place. OK, well, I'll have a look. I'll just have a look and see if there's an indication. Um, OK, well, uh, Grove Zone Instruction, they're the supplier of these, actually says not suitable for children under three years, so we'll take their guidance on that, shall we? Um, but they pretty much do self-lock, as Joe says. But 
You know what? Uh, what you always say with soft toys, with any kind of plastic parts like that, is, is you would say you wouldn't leave a child less than three unsupervised with something like this. But I think actually for a nursery and for kind of looking at, do you know what I mean? Which is, which is more what this is actually. It's less of a playing toy and it's more of a, a decorative, isn't it really, Joe? A In show. fact, I think what you would do is probably make two. And one would be, if you were lucky enough to get the grey, the, the grey would be for looking at a style, an objet d'art. Uh, and then you'd make another one in a cream or a green to, you know, play with. The safest way is always to embroider eyes on or things yes. like that. Yeah. I would, I would never recommend buttons or beads. No, no, no. No. Definitely not. Not anything that can be easily detached and is one single piece. The lucky, the, the good thing with these eyes is because they are, they are essentially two pieces and the washer that they go into... Did you see that before? I don't know if you saw that before. But once you... Once you lock the pin into the washer part of that, it's the point of no return, isn't it, it is. really? That's it. You would actually physically have to break that, but there And you if go. you've got eyes where you can peel the washer off the back, absolutely don't give no. them to children. They're no, not no. safe at all. No, absolutely. Right, right. so we've got the top of that. This is the bit where we're joining the top of the face to the back of the head. But I joined the two back... a short way. Yes. Yeah. Short seam there, I joined the two back head pieces together and then I lined up that seam with the centre of the face and mm -hmm. then from that point stitched the back of the head to the front of the head along one side mm -hmm. down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I'll do the same now for this side. Right. And I find doing it in two goes like that, it means it's easy to get the head, both pieces on straight and even and get a better finish. And it's easier than sewing two shallower curves than going all the way round. Ah, one. OK, I see. So that's how you've perfected that wonderful shape, because sometimes when you do tackle something like that all of the way first time, you kind of box yourself into a little bit of a corner, don't you? Yes, if you, you get to the top and you can't quite make the seams match up, you know yeah. then the head won't quite be the shape yeah. that it's intended to be. Do you know what I've realised as well? And I, I, I hate to confess this, Joe, because, you know, we've been mates for a long time now, but... Um, a couple of the animal kits I've tried have been from elsewhere. <clears throat> it's okay, I can... And they make everything the right way round rather than inside out and then turning it back out. Um, yeah. Yeah. I see the error of my ways now. I'd just like to confess that. So There's I think, lots of different ways to make I think if there are any though. elephant kits remaining, do you know what, I might just... And I don't need a machine for this, do I? Obviously, yeah. it's quicker, but... I don't need a machine, because I don't have a machine, but I do have Irene Colesby's automatic needle threader. Oh. So I'm now not frightened of tackling this kind of thing. So I could have a go, couldn't I? You could, I? You, absolutely. OK. As long as you promise not to laugh when I bring in the effort. I would never laugh. OK, that's all right then. There we go. So there's a head <laughs> ready to be joined to the body okay. later. Yeah. I mean, I can pop the eyes in now. Yeah, or show us, yeah, show show us how you did that. Yeah, yeah, that would right, be good. Okay. Now, on the template, when you draw out the template, you need to transfer the position for the eyes yes. onto the fabric. Mm -hmm. Which and you've then, done. Which I've done. And then we're going to make a hole, the smallest hole possible, really, mm -hmm. through which... Can you tell I write this in patterns? Through which to allow the shank of the eye. <laughs> <laughs> and with thin fabric like this, I like to give the eye, the eye a little bit more support. So I'll, right. pop, I'll pop that through. Yeah. And then as an extra washer, I would cut something thicker, like a piece of felt. Cut a square. Ah. Pop a little hole in the centre of that as well. Mm -hmm. And pop that over and it just adds a little bit of support and it's more grab for the washer, it's got more to hold on to. Yes. Like that. And then fit the back over. Let's see if I can do this. OK, right, so that's it now. Once it's in... You might want to get a little pair of pliers and just go around it. Yeah. Make sure there's something covering the eye because you don't want to scratch mm -hmm. the actual plastic of the eye. Mm -hmm. But make sure that's really well fitted. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to really be able to get your nails... Underneath, yeah. You can just about get them in between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's yeah. well fitted, so I'll do the other one. Very good. So you've already pre-marked out the position of the eyes in, as part of the template. In fact, let me show you that part yeah. of the template because then you could, you'll be able to see. Yeah. So if you look at this top one here, 
you can see it's already marked on the face panel. The dot there is key. It is. Because you might kick yourself quite hard if you get to this point and uh, don't have a dot for the eye because you might end up with, uh, well, you know, Clarence. I mean, you don't, if you're going to embroider the eyes, you don't need to transfer no. the marks on particularly. You could just do it by eye when you've finished. Do it by eye. Do it by eye. Very good. Okay. Any other um, animal ideas, Hannah, coming in? Hedgehog. I have done a hedgehog. OK. In the past, I do like... Uh... Um, we've had a very specific request for... Um, a duck, say again, Hannah. <laughs> a duck, sorry, I'm laughing. I shouldn't be laughing. It's your idea. Um, a duck with a flat bottom so it can be a doorstop. So it's like, so it's swimming, so it wouldn't have legs. A duck, yes, so it's a sitting duck, so you can't a see it's. I could, that Although, that. if you're going to do a duck, you may as, do a, well, as well do a swan. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Big, grand swan with. Have a little baby big, in the back. Great big swan. Oh, that'd be amazing. Very white, though, wouldn't it? Yes. Need to... uh, and someone else has sent... Oh, Joe has sent in an idea. <laughs> no. Could you... <laughs> Did you hear that? No. Could you... <laughs> she knew that the answer was going to be a no just from the amount of time it took you to tell me, Hannah. Um, um, we've had Joe suggest... Uh, Maybe you start a Noah's Ark project, you know, with the, all of the animals two by two. That gives you a nice broad sweep then of animals, doesn't it? It would. It gets. Yeah. There you go. It snowballed quickly. This. Think we might from need to have. Yeah. One animal to. Yeah, to the an entire arc. Entire world's collection. Yeah, of absolutely. Animals. Two of everything. Anyway, what are we looking at right now? Right. We're in the body now. I've moved on to the body. Right. So this is joining the outer top leg yes. to the body, to the side body. Right. And this joins along here. But it needs... Another pivot point. This is the point that the seam will end or start. I'm going to start it at that point. So I'll line that up. Oh, um, uh, Margaret in Essex says, uh, do we iron the seams open? I've just got the grey kit. I don't press the seams open always. Some... I, I, I finger press rather than iron a lot of the time. Because of the scale of it. Yes. Yeah. But it's important for the... It helps the look of the feet if you press the seam that goes underneath the toes. I'll get to that okay. in a little bit. Uh, she'd like an orangutan next time, please. Okay. Nice one, Margaret. A couple of votes for orangutans, aren't Nice, they? Nice colour orangutan as well. You can use a nice sort of colour palette, can't you? We had a lovely Vienna orange yesterday on one of the um, bundles. That would be good, yeah. I know I can't stop going on about it. Obviously made the impression, Hannah, didn't it, that Vienna orange yesterday? It's in my head now. It's coming up to that time of the year, though, where you want those kind of warming colours, isn't it? I say that, I have no idea what the weather's like today. I don't know what it's like in Birmingham so far today. It could be anything. It was it? dark when we came in, wasn't it? <laughs> there are less than ten of each, so we're in single figures now for the cream and the green um, elephant bundles. I'm afraid it's long since history for the grey, um, although we will tackle that next time around. Um, oh, so I just noticed you've got a tail. I wonder what yeah. that was then. I was playing with it. Um, but look, do you want to have a little look? I'll show you. Sorry, it's a bit undignified, isn't it? But look, it's got a little tail as well. Of course, because they do have a tail. With a little knot in it, so it remembers. Yeah, completely and utterly. Got a better memory than I have already. Right. So I've stitched this outer leg onto to complete the side body. Yep. But leaving... So I've marked the seam allowance, so it needs to finish at this corner, So I've, and mm -hmm. I've got that extra seam allowance mm -hmm. here. And then I'm just going to do one side of the body, let's see, which... To join onto that leg, it's that one, so I'll do this side of the body, because I have a pre-made body I can move on to. Oh, OK. Um, just let you know, there's, uh, we've just taken the graphics off for the cameo, which is the green elephant set, because there is literally one available. Right, I need to make sure I put the legs on the correct way. Mm -hmm. I'll start with the top one. And it just, there's a marker here. Just transfer it to this side. That's where this leg, the seam, starts. And I'm going to sew it, sew it around this opening here. Oh, OK. In the yeah. side. 
It's... Yes, talking about seams being open, it is easier if you can finger press and sort of keep the seams open as much as possible throughout. Mm -hmm. That does help the finished look. If you were hand sewing one of these points where you're changing the angle, so where you will then pivot and move the fabric around, is, is that easy? Is there something you can do in hand sewing to combat that, is what I'm clumsily trying to ask? I don't know, actually, because I never... I think okay, it would be enough. quite easy when you got to it. Yeah. Um, it's always that bit easier manoeuvring seams yeah. and getting them to line up when you're doing it by hand. So you would create don't... almost like a little kind of fold and then just carry on Yes, sewing. I think you just fold it round okay. and cool. sew to that point and then fold it round. So you'd yeah. almost use the stitch as the pivot point. Yeah. No, I'm asking so I know when, when I get the kit home because I don't yet have a sewing machine. And if the toy is going to get a little bit of wear and tear, you can support this by stitching that again just to support this mm -hmm. corner here mm -hmm. where that joins. Yeah. And then I'm going to press open the bottom of this seam, just finger press it open, and then sew the inner bottom leg around this curve here. OK. <gasps> We're getting there. We're getting there. In fact, you could, you could have a mask nearly, couldn't you? Could you give our, our grey elephant a, uh, a cream mask? Oh, no, that doesn't work. That's really wrong. <laughs> Do you know some things you should just think? <laughs> Just think, don't actually do that, Derek. You think it by all means, but don't do it. Not Didn't on look the a bit telly. Sinister. Yeah. Did look a little bit odd. Anyway. More tea, anyone? <laughs> this is why I don't get the call often, you see. <laughs> there we it's, go. It's only because everybody else is at the, uh, the Great British Sewing Bee Live down at the XL. Um, it is on all weekend, by the way, and the sewing quarter are very much there. I think Tash is there today. Um, and uh, we are doing lots of live workshops there as well, if you're thinking of going. Um, we have in the cream in stock... Wow, it's the last four, Joe. Down to the last four. The last four already. This looks a little bit awkward, but it's so that the legs are all positioned into the front. Yes. Right now, I'm going to sew the front of the outer and inner leg together so I'm going to join the stomach section with a side body section okay I'll try and do this quickly because I'll get to the toes already oh, we got we got Time's a good amount of time for this away. I do have a pre-made body I can switch to though in a minute once I've done all the vital bits do you think we might get to the to nearly the end I've, possibly I'm hoping so I mean, in telly, 12 minutes is like three hours, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So that's the front of the leg. Uh-huh, yeah. And this is the point you might want to actually press, press them this. Press open, yeah. I'll finger press it for now. Mm -hmm. And then, as a sort of a plique, what have I done with the toes? There are markers to show where this should fall. I'm going to do it by for now. I think that's probably uh -huh. the centre. And then just stitch a couple of, maybe three millimetres inside. Yeah. Will it be an eighth of an inch, maybe, as well? That's sort of inside there, just to hold the toe piece mm -hmm. over the end of the foot. OK. Um, somebody just asked you about the grey quilt behind us, by the way. Uh, the reason we went for a grey quilt is because it just keyed in very, very nicely with our grey elephant. Um, it was made on the... 15th of September, so if you have a look, at 9am in the morning, by Lucy Brennan. So if you have a look on our um, YouTube, we list all of our videos. We only have, um, unlike our sister channel, JM, which has four videos a day, we have generally one video for each day uh, with the whole four hours of that day show. So it's the 15th of September you'll be looking for. Uh, and all the details. 9am, uh, the building blocks quilt, it's called. It's rather nice, actually. It's beautiful. I was yeah. admiring that before. Nice, isn't it? Right, so I stitched the toe piece on yep. around the curve and then I've just turned it this way mm -hmm. and stitched it down so it's held mm -hmm. to the fabric at the bottom. Yep. If there was any overlap, and it's fine if there is, if you've got any felt over overlapping the edge, just... Snip it off. Just snip it so it's all the same edge. It just makes it that bit easier for when you attach the foot mm -hmm. now. So, yeah, the smoother that is and more together it is, the more together it will be when it comes together. Yes. Did any of that make any sense? I've no I idea. Know what you meant. There were lots of words in that sentence. 
Did we have another idea, did you say, Hannah, come in? Because, actually, I, I, I feel that my brain may have switched itself off. <laughs> um, Julie in Moray says, uh, a row of cats and kittens as a draft excluder. Oh, not just, not just one just or two, row. Julie, just a whole row. Cat, kitten, cat, kitten, cat, twins. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it'd be great, wouldn't it? Fantastic. Llama. A llama. That could be quite tricky. I think alpacas are cuter. I only found out the other day that an alpaca is not a llama. Is it's it like, not? No, it's like a llama. I was corrected on that the other day. Oh. On a, I was talking about cruise holidays and we ended up in this conversation, weirdly. Um, but yeah, an alpaca is like a llama, but not a llama, and I always thought it was. Mm, I always thought they're quite they're... cute as well, though, aren't they? Yes. They're very shy alpacas. Oh, Sorry. Anyway, where were we? Um, sewing the bottom foot on. Start at the <laughs> back of the foot and sew it all around this curve. Now it looks a bit daunting trying to get what's essentially a circle, really. Yeah. Um, and you might, if you find it easier to have the, the circle on the bottom, so you had it the other way around and the leg on top. And ah. do whichever way you find is most comfortable. I like to, I'll just do... Back. This is the foot. This is the foot. Yeah. With my quarter inch mark on the foot, I will just keep that in line with this edge here, the edge of the foot. OK. And a couple of stitches. And just keep repositioning if you find that easier. Take it nice and easy. There we go. I'm going to speed up just so I can get it done. Hannah, if you want an anteater, you'll have to ask her. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what the answer might be. <laughs> I'll do some research. I'll, I'll have a look at... That's her dip diplomatic way of saying well, that'll never happen, Hannah. So, there's some in animals your dreams... That once you've met... Once I've made long them... Long snout. I, I dread somebody saying, that's nice, what, what is it? <laughs> I like something that's instantly recognisable. Oh, I see. Right, now we're, now we're at the nub of it. Yeah. Familiar to Joe Carter animals. Animals that cannot be mistaken for yeah. anything else. Right. Have another think now, then. Keep the ideas coming through. Studio at sewingquarter.com. I'm not repeating that one. <laughs> Caterpillar. Kind of been done quite a lot though, hasn't it? Because has. often they were very popular draft excluders, weren't they? They were caterpillars. That's why director Mike said worm. Although the, the worms don't necessarily have a lot of features, do they? Really? It would be a speedy it's just design like a pink process. Just tube, isn't it? Which could easily be mistaken for, you know, a sock, sausage, pre-cooked. <laughs> there we go. So that's the foot. Do worms have smiles? Do worms smile? Do you think? Yours would, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yours would be a smiley worm. Anyway, back to elephant's legs. OK, so that's the front... <laughs> one of the front legs. <laughs> I'm going to sew it up. <laughs> I think I should be sent out of the room now at this stage. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> I know, Joe. I'm so sorry. There's people at home saying, will you shut up, Derek, now, please? Right. I'm going to sew up the back of the leg from the yes. back of the foot up to the top, and I'm going to stop at this point. And all the seams for the top of the <laughs> leg, the top of the bottom leg and the back of the top leg, that's really confusing. No, 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 I, I understood that. They need to converge, they all need to end at this point here. Yes. So I'm going to stop. And so if you have a water erasable pen and want to draw in the ends of the seams. And I like to sew up to where I stop because I get more... I can see where I want to stop a, a yes. bit more clearly. So we're talking about um, uh, this seam here, aren't we? There. Yes. where the two legs meet the front of the body and the back of the body. So that is a, definitely a four-way junction there, isn't it? It is. So everything needs to... everything meets there. There you go, that'll do. <laughs> Honestly, no dignity in this studio, is there? There we go. So I've finished that one. Right. At the top of the... Bottom leg. Top of the top leg, I think that one is. Yes, top leg. Yes. And then reposition round and stitch from the foot, so you finish at that point again, mm -hmm. the top of the bottom leg, and we want to finish it at that point. And then once I've st stitched that, I'm going to snip into this corner, and you might want to reinforce it with a few more stitches, because that is the point that will get all the wear and tear yes. on this toy. Yes, because if you, if you ever move, move those around, it's that, that's the, the most stressed joint, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So stop doing it. Just leave it alone. Make 
make sure this back body's straight so I don't get any creases in it. We're looking for um, a dinosaur, seems very, very popular. We're talking about Joe's next project, by the way. Um, it's not that she's run out of ideas or anything like that. <laughs> it's that, that she, didn't, she didn't know until 6 o'clock this morning until she came in that we've decided to open up suggestions. <laughs> Do you fancy making a puffer fish, Joe? I, um, it'd be quite tricky with the spikes. Yeah. That would be quite an interesting one to design. Well, again, but, but again, going back to your it must be instantly familiar. Would people recognise the exactly. puffer fish? Exactly. Nice what fish, is? what is it? Yeah. Couldn't be having that, could we? So there you go, what I said. I didn't want it to happen, happen. So I'm going to, I've unpicked a few okay. stitches because I've got a little bit of a tuck in there and I don't want that. So I'm just going to re sew the end of that okay. seam and I'm going to make sure it's flat on that side. We've got four minutes left, but right. you can have all of those four minutes because awesome. I only need about 30 seconds just to tell everyone what's coming up tomorrow with John. Right. Order I'll is restored tomorrow. I'll speed through this bit. And then I'm going to just make a little snip in the side body only. I'm not going to catch any of the others just to give that a little bit of flex. So then I'll turn it the right way out so okay. I'll be able to show. So that's the foot. Mm -hmm. And this is that corner where everything turns and you get the bottom. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of the, the top of the bottom leg. Yes. And then it's just the same. Press the seams, add the toe piece, Sh add the foot. Shall I show you what we've just been looking at as well? Because it might be easier to see it on the, uh, on the finished make. So it's this joint here that, that we've just been working towards where the back of the body and the bottom of the top leg and the top of the bottom leg and the front of the body all meet it in all one. It all meets in that one position. Fabulous. So all the feet go on in the same way and there's a dart in the top. Um, you might notice, in. by the way, sorry, I should have showed, told you this about 15 minutes ago, but you may have noticed that there are no graphics on screen at the moment. We have um, sold out of everything in this hour, that's why. So here is one with all the feet in. Mm -hmm. And then at this point, well, it's nice and opened out. Sew the head to the body. And you could start in the centre and work out mm -hmm. just to make sure it's fully lined up. Yeah. I'm going to go from one side to the other just to get it on quickly. OK. <gasps> head on. Not far from the end, then. Brilliant. We've only got a few minutes left as well. In fact... Do you want to, do you want to have a quick look at the menu now? Let's have a quick look at the menu now, just while, while the, because this is, I, I, I'm feeling like this is the major surgery bit of it, it's... so I'm going to leave that to you, Joe. Um, so John's back tomorrow. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Uh, John is back with uh, Blue Rhapsody Quilt at eight o'clock in the morning, uh, with Joy, of course, which he's looking forward to. Uh, Kaif's Wonderful World is at nine o'clock. We've got Quilt As You Go, I think is the word that's missing in that line. Uh, Quilt As You Go is at 10 o'clock, and then we've got Cave Pre-Cuts and more at 11 o'clock. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not, a, it's not one of those um, Quilt As You Then Let Us Know What You're Doing. It's uh, Quilt As You Go. And I know lots and lots and lots of you have been uh, Quilt As You Going, um, so that would be brilliant. And there's something... Now, what's coming up on Monday? Because I heard John gossiping on Fri uh, no, Thursday at the end of his show and he was gossiping about something big that was happening on Monday. Have we got any more gossip on that? Anything? Oh, is it? Oh, it's that magic word, Joe, happening on Monday. Oh. You know that plant behind you? That'll, yes. be a, that'll be a tree. Oh, is it being replaced? With lights. That's all I'm going to say. I'll let John tell you tomorrow. Uh, he's here from 8 o'clock in the morning. But Monday is... How long have we got left? Oh, one minute. Once at that point, the bottom... Should bring, we stuff his head? Bring the bottom leg together, sew yeah. along the back. The tail is just this piece folded in half lengthways. The tube. Stitched until you get that. Yep. Tie a little knot in the tail. So he doesn't forget. Or she. Bit of detail, baste it on. And then when you close the body, mm -hmm. leave an opening in the back, mm -hmm. about a hand's width so you can stuff the elephant. These are toe stitches with needle and thread. You want to go through the foot, go in at the bottom, through at the toe, a few times, anchor the thread and go over at least twice. I've doubled up my thread just to create these little toes. It gives it the detail on its feet. Well done, you. A full instructions written by Joe.
um, are there as well. The elephant will be back in the future as well. When are you back, Joe? 2nd of October, I think. 2nd of October, we will see you. Thank you. We've had so much fun this morning. Thank you for your company as well. Don't forget to join, uh, join tomorrow. Uh, join John, should I say, tomorrow live at 8 o'clock. Thank you so much for your company and all of your ideas. And we'll see you back here soon. Have a great day. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order. Or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com.